Welcome to Sad Boys, a podcast about feelings and other things also. I'm Jarvis. Oh, I'm Jordan. I'm falling into the guest zone. Whoa, you're wow. falling. Oh, oh, you're going into the guest zone where oh, we have no. a guest. It's full of fire. Oh, oh no, yeah, we have to you have to go through the fire. Oh no, it's hell. Oh, oh. is this because of what Keep I going. did? Deeper. Oh, yeah. And, and oh, beneath the, guest the depths zone. of hell, I guess, <laughs> is our guest. <laughs> hey! Hey Green. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I I've been in it's I live in Montana, so it's just nice to be warm for once. <laughs> yeah, and it's funny that this is warm because a lot of I was no, Angelinos. it's hell. It's hell. Oh, oh yeah, but no, I was this morning. I was waiting for a coffee outside uh, next to some LA people, mm-hmm. and they were like, <laughs> "Yeah," you know, and like in puffy coats, and yeah. I was like, "It's." 68. Mm-hmm. I don't understand. I mean, even if they are a little chilly, LA people get so excited to finally use the winter coat. Oh, they yeah. They thrifted uh, with intent to wear the they, same day. Yeah. yeah, and they looked very, they looked lovely. Just they people, were nice people. People dripped out getting heat stroke, but knowing yeah. that it's working for their aesthetic. I enjoyed the drive, honestly. Yeah. Like the, the, it's like because oh, uh, the people were like driving slower, and I right. was like, this is how we should be doing LA this. people don't experience the past couple of years we've had more rain than usual yeah but people freak out in the rain and they yeah. don't know and I'm, I'm from florida me as too well yeah yeah and, and well, yeah i was like this is a light drizzle yeah yeah there is a pride i feel like still in, in, in probably imbued in all of us that comes from like <laughs> oh you can't handle this <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> la people can't do you know what i have a hot take yeah for this is just for the la so, people a weather hot take no, hell style. <laughs> I think that LA drivers are good. Oh, wow. I disagree, but continue. So let me tell you why I think. Uh, so here's <laughs> a number of reasons. First, uh, first clue: the guys on the motorcycles are doing some stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah. Those guys and are, they it's old jazz <laughs> are still alive. True. Mm-hmm. Well, so the ones you see. something must be going right. <laughs> I think they do the equivalent of like defensive driving, but also are professional. Psych. I don't know. Those people yeah. scare me. Well, I mean, it is number, also you're only seeing the number, alive ones. <laughs> number two is true. The uh, survivor's bias for sure. Number two, there there's a there's a place um, in downtown LA where my GPS was like, okay, get on the interstate now. And I was like, all right. And I pulled onto what I thought was an on ramp, but it was just a stop sign. And you stop, and the interstate is three feet away from you, and it's going full interstate speed. Yes. And you can see backward like 30 feet this before is there's the a turn. This is the 110. This is the first, and then, allegedly the first highway in America. And then in front of you, there you have a, like a merge that's 30 feet. Mm-hmm. And everybody just does it. Yeah. And and like no one dies. It's the most stressful and I was part like, of everyone's okay, day. <laughs> okay, live or die. I can't go back. No, like, that is, I just go. That I, is true. That, I feel like I feel like LA drivers are good because uh, the the roads got built before we knew how roads worked, yes. and they have to figure that out. Right, that highway is built for like uh, the T, uh, the Model T. Yeah, <laughs> like it, like where A they it, you, they couldn't yeah. go that fast. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. So so th- third thing, uh, I I feel like everybody is kind of working together. Mm. Like in Montana, you stop at a stoplight, you're one car back, the light turns green, the person finishes playing Candy Crush. Mm. <laughs> and here, I feel like you're 40 cars back, the light turns green, everyone lifts off the brake. Mm. We're all sort of like as a unit. People are like, we're, we're doing this thing. We know how to do it. We do it all the time. We're working together as a unit. Let's go. And if you're not, it's like, beep, 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 beep. Yeah. yeah. Whereas in Montana, if you beep at a person in front of you, it's like very rude. Yeah. I, I think so it's, I, it's got the same energy as like World War One where nobody knows why they are there and yeah. ultimately no one wants to be. Right. They're like, well, it's Christmas, let's play football for <laughs> one day. I don't know. I know you're suffering, but then at the time, yeah. the moment you transgress. I just I feel like I feel like it seems like LA drivers are bad because you see forty thousand of them a day. Mm. And they're ethically bad as people. I can't <laughs> speak for other drivers than LA drivers because I didn't get my driver's license until I moved yeah. to LA. But I took driving lessons in LA. Yeah. And so I drove around LA with a man next to me telling me the rules of the road. <laughs> and I would ask questions because I like to be a little rule follower. And I would just be like, oh, they're breaking the, they're not supposed to do that, right? And they were like, nope. And I was like, okay, cool. But like, you have them. to be prepared for, for somebody <laughs> doing that. For doing that. They're yeah. Do that. And there's just so much, no one, sa- I guess this could be everywhere, but no one signals. I, yeah, I would, but like signals are turned. And if you're on the highway and you're near an exit, uh, engage defense mode because someone's going to be coming in from the fast mm. lane, not realizing like, they needed to. Yeah. And yeah. just doing like a four, I, four lane merge. I don't, uh, I am 
similarly a child i am finally getting my u.s license mm -hmm. at, at almost 30 years old we're teenagers I, we're young and hip kind of think of it i'm young as hell you tried tiktok yeah oh, yeah fortnite's those on family yeah. guys yeah dude, you're, <laughs> all of all yeah, of the above i love young, family young, guys young and stuff Dope. You know? Yeah, <laughs> uh, but I am. Uh, I just did my, my all the study for my uh, my permit, and yeah. by far, uh, driving automatic is so much easier than driving manual. So the driving is is fine. It's been where you have to long. drive manual in the UK. Yeah, required. Mm. Whereas the no. written test here is a little more jazz. It's a little more like, uh, you know, some highly specific question about California state law. And then how many wheels does the bus have when it goes round and round? <laughs> round and round? <laughs> Old MacDonald had a... Yeah, <laughs> had a blank. <laughs> bus. <laughs> no. Oh, or, and if you fail, and it's true that if you fail, you could just take it again. You just yeah, right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, uh, I, I got in a car the other day with someone. I like to think of myself as, you know, a little... I want to be a little flexible with the, the stringent laws of the road. <laughs> you know me. Yeah. Bad guy. But I, I was in a car with a friend the other day. They've been driving their entire adult life. We've just been down the freeway. They're a good driver. And then uh, as we were going down, I just mentioned like, like infraction, infraction, misdemeanor. And then they were like, by the way, do you know what the, like these are for? Because I've never thought about it. And they pointed to the gears. They've operated in drive and neutral yeah. their entire time. Oh. And they were like, What's the like the two and the one? Yeah. Oh. I said, well, they're why gears, would, and they're like, why? Why? Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't. I don't need it much. I couldn't think of a reason. <laughs> well, we use them at, when you have a lot of uh, elevation. Oh. If you drop down to a yeah. lower gear, then it just, you don't have to use the brake as much. I just, I'm, my foot's reaching for the clutch and getting sore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kick, kicking the bottom. <laughs> right. Of the now it's a Flintstones car with my foot. So cars, but what are we here for? Who knows? The the cars, this is what we can be here for. Okay. There's no rules. One thing I'll say though is that we all have the same birthday. What? May 5th? Yeah. All of us. All of us? 1994? Wow. 1992 from Wall. That makes me a little tingly. That's yeah, wild. It's That's very special. I know this is the one thing because we had, we met and had a lot of other similarities about ourselves and then we found out that we have the same birthday yeah. and it was like a weird, a weird moment. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so shout out to us and like yeah. Adele, I think good maybe. Good job. Yeah. yeah. Jacques Cousteau. Ooh, that's a nice one. Karl Marx, maybe? I uh, think that's right. Yeah. Determinism confirmed, anyone? Yeah. yeah definitely. It's a conspiracy confirmed. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but I have a birthday also as well. We've been watching conspiracy <laughs> videos that are not even conspiracies, but just someone speaking a conspiratorial <laughs> Right, theory. right. Yeah. That's like the background music. Right. Says it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Got your nose. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. But I did The Louisiana Which, Purchase. <laughs> it's like, okay, this is a, his, this is yeah. a crash course history, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you have to put it in the right frame <laughs> right, right, certain right. people to enjoy it that's true yeah the packaging matters uh as for what we're here for today hank we're here for you okay. uh you're here in los angeles yeah um you've been here for a bit you've done a couple of shows one of yeah. those wasn't planned well it was very short it was planned eventually yeah okay i well, wasn't planning on doing it i was planning on going to a comedy show mm -hmm. the night i got here yeah and i was like well if i don't if like my flight gets canceled then i'll you know i'll, I'll just miss this show and i'll right. be there the next day because yeah i don't like to plan a thing for the day i'm flying because you never know montana yeah. is long way away oh i just think i'll be tired <laughs> but that were that too. I don't, that's not a concern. I don't like to plan yeah. a thing for I, a day. I don't. Yeah, yeah. I love a thing. And so the show got canceled, and I was like, oh. And then I was, I had a friend who knew a guy who worked at the venue, and I was like, hey, what if we booked it? And I had twenty hours between when that happened and when I was on the stage. Ooh. And it was very scary. Yeah, because I like they weren't they were like, yeah, you can book it if you give us money. Mm -hmm. They weren't like they were like, give us your credit card right now and we'll hold it for you. Oh, OK. And they charged me. Hmm. Uh, and, and then and then you had to make and then work. I had to and then I had to sell the tickets. Well, you had the Ooh. exact we opposite go. of going to a show. Yeah, I did. <laughs> we were like, uh, unfortunately, I had a birthday party to go to oh, yeah. um, or Ooh. birthday dinner. So it was like a one of five people would be missing. So I was like, OK, <laughs> can't make it to the show. But how'd it go? It was great. No, I mean that that I've done three now, and it's been really fun. How recent is this? Because you would say it's like stand up, yeah, like a one man show. It's like a one man show stand up thing. Mm -hmm. I don't exactly know. Yeah. I I'm much more like it's it's one it's a story. It like yeah. it has a beginning. I got cancer. It has an end. 
here's what cancer made me think about. Right. <laughs> um, it's like, I, I feel like it's very you coded, at least my perception of you externally to turn this experience into content. It's weird to call a thing that a person did them coded. Mm. Yeah, it's me coded. I, it's a thing I did, mm -hmm. sir. Yeah. But yeah, I'd say it's a well, lot that, like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's you coded in the I don't know you as a human sure, being. Okay. I know you as a artifice yeah. online. Gotcha. Okay. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hank Green, the brand coded, would totally do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Turns out I'm I am mostly me. Uh -huh. I say I like to say that I on the internet I everything you see is me, but it's not everything. Yeah, it's like we, me, I like, but not all of me. Yes, yeah. I, I I ascribe to that. A for very sure. like a crop. Like yeah, a very just a crop vignette. Yeah, exactly. What do you feel like you're very conscious about withdrawing, like not putting in the something like always out cropping of the crop. out? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like to be sort of like aggressively non-sexual on the mm -hmm. internet. Uh, so like, you know, obviously, you pr you probably could guess that I have like equipment that I'm a man. What do you mean? Yeah, like male. Paraphernalia, nice. paraphernalia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. What do you mean? How's that? What do you do with? <laughs> You're talking words? like a like a robot. He's trying to convince us. He's <laughs> I, I've you heard. assume I have some of the yeah, whatever it is, <laughs> whatever they are. What do we do here? And we all clones. What and and then we got? do with something. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard. I know. You saw like that's like a thing. I think yeah, that some yeah. people like to like to have that. You know, sure. that, that as part of their persona, and I'm like, no. Yeah. I. Uh, you know, I like I have a child, uh, and and so like figuring out the balance there mm -hmm. is interesting. Like I, I feel like for a long time I was comfortable telling stories, but not showing pictures. But now right. he's like becoming a person, mm -hmm. like, and so it's like a little bit right on the edge of being comfortable telling the story, because like it's like in the, some point in the future, like he's gonna like yeah, you it's know, a have, person that people have can friends tie and people to. will be yeah. like you this is a story about you that i saw mm. on the internet right know? and instead of like an uncle that was there like back in the day it's like yeah. some rando from the internet yeah. who knows too much about you yeah that's fair that's respectful because do you ever get secondhand feelings i don't want to say embarrassment but like there's a lot of people putting their kids online and not thinking about these things i try to not i'm, you don't judge. I'm pretty good at not judging people yeah that's good um, but what if they're wrong? I, what if they're wrong? <laughs> what if they're bad? Like me. Uh, you're a very bad man. That's very you couldn't coded. believe the things that you said before we started. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, oh, it was all bad stuff. You had to get it all out of me. I don't system. know. I can't even come up with anything. <laughs> oh, well, you can't say it because it's illegal. That's what it is. <laughs> right. Uh, In fact, he said it and we had to cut it out to the YouTube editor because we got demonetized. Ah, he said it again. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Quit that. Ouch. Yeah, I mean, I... Uh, there's just a lot of ways to be in the world, you know? Yes, I do agree with that. Every, my wife and I say, everybody's themselves. Everyone is them coded. <laughs> <laughs> That's the saying we have. <laughs> yeah, we had that conversation every single episode with one another or, or the guest yeah. every single time. How's, uh, that, how's that for your wife as well? I mean, she's been present for so much of your career. Oh, yeah. No, I wasn't a YouTuber when we got married, and, and we'd been together for seven years before that. So, oh, um, whoop, rats on her phone. Yeah, right? a little bit weird. <laughs> Darn. It was weird. Like, I got cancer, and I was like, you seem to be handling this well. And she's like, you've thrown me a number of curveballs. <laughs> this is not the first time yeah. things got weird in our relationship. Uh, yeah, I... I think it's super weird for her and she's like a, she's a pretty private person she does not like uh, strangers coming up to talk to me in mm. public which happens a lot and so she just walks away yeah, <laughs> okay, fair. and they're like did she and I like don't look at her that's <laughs> not yours that's uh, she <laughs> she didn't opt into this, this, this <laughs> yeah. her choice <laughs> yeah How, I mean you must have at this point a template for that kind of interaction right yeah. I mean you're amongst the most that's happened to YouTubers that exist in the world. Yeah, that happens people. a fair amount. And and I uh, I like it to some extent. Like usually it's really fun and interesting. Yeah. And like I, I never really know what they know me for. Mm -hmm. so well, we got that on our thing. Oh. Uh, what does it say? Ever, ever surprised by what oh. people recognize you from? Yeah, I mean, it is... Not really, because yeah. it's been so long. But I, yeah. but, but for sure, there was a time. I remember the first time I, I went to Penny Arcade Expo. Yeah, we've and, been there. Uh, and I usually, like in, like everyday places, get recognized for, at that point, for Vlogbrothers. But at PAX, it was like all SciShow. 
oh, just sideshow things. And I was like, I've never been writing nice for sideshow for so much. Wow. It's just a bunch of nerds and different kind of nerd. Uh, and so that was a surprise, but that was many years ago. And so now I like, I never know, you know, but like I can right. guess, like I yeah. can look at a person and be like, that's probably a person who like is in it. Like yeah. Vlog Brothers, Dear okay. Hank and John, sure. everything. And then I can look at a person and be like, that person has seen me make a joke on TikTok. Right. And they know nothing. Usually people for us will lead with it, which is interesting. They'll be like, um, yeah, where do you know me from? I love your TikToks. Yeah, yeah. And we'll be like, we don't even like someone came up to us in the Vancouver <laughs> airport and had only seen us on TikTok, yeah. which is just like strange for us because it's yeah. not even a thing we're trying that hard. It's just our <laughs> editor Austin makes TikTok. I was so, oh God, I was so excited about the chicken sandwich we were getting that I didn't even really compartmentalize it till afterwards. Yeah. It's just like, oh, but the, we're in line for like the chicken sandwich. Yeah, yeah. it is fun though. I was getting um, coffee with Tom Scott last week and the barista like, had like a, oh, what is this, a crossover episode moment? Because like, <laughs> we've never been, <laughs> I like people don't night. know that we know each other, right? Yeah, yeah, I was, we were at the, I came out after the show to like say hi to the people who stuck around. And I was taking a picture and, and the backyard scientist was mm -hmm. at the show. And uh, and he was like, you set the backyard? And then William Osmond was behind him. He was like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> yeah, like, what's happening? How much dreaming? Yeah, I think there was even somebody who like, didn't recognize Tom at first and then Tom made a reference to the fact that he you know was taking a step back from YouTube and they were like oh yeah congrats I think and it's like, you oh like yeah I've seen one Tom Scott video it's the one where you retire <laughs> right? I, like, I didn't connect so to it until you said it you were did going get a away. lot of views I know you yeah. from leaving YouTube you know I don't want to have a chip on my shoulder but Tom Scott's I'm retiring video got more views than my I got canceled video <laughs> <laughs> and like I don't know it's better I mean, uh, it's yeah, a yeah, Really good like, video. It's true. I did not like get lifted away on a helicopter. Yeah, I, got cancer, I was like, you gotta, you. I mean, you, to, you gotta go to the the countryside and walk while telling the yeah. story. Yeah, yeah. I do. Uh, I really was not. This in the mood. is about to be a story <laughs> of my personal health update. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. You know, you got to do something like that. No, I was, yeah, that's not why I was. I was like, oh god. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, you had things on. on you see, you read the title. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> spoil it. <laughs> that's a good point. He didn't spoil it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he was yeah, yeah I spoiled it. I spoiled it. Uh, it could have been like big news, very upsetting, <laughs> health update. <laughs> yeah, we have feedback on the thumbnail and title. <laughs> right, you <laughs> have to workshop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really, I really, yeah, I mean, One I, of you I milked it, I, Honestly, I milked it pretty hard. I could have done better. <laughs> but I milked it pretty hard. Uh, I think you're allowed to. Mm. Oh, well. yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's why I can say it out right. loud. Yeah, you yeah, get yeah. cancer. You're allowed to do. You're allowed to. Yeah, because yes. who knows? You know, yeah. like like it's you go on a long, a long journey with that. Um, and now I mean, you know, that's a chapter that is yeah. resolving. Would yeah, you say? I mean, whatever. When does any door close? Yeah, I am in remission is mm -hmm. the technical term. So I, I, there's no sign, at least the last time I got a scan of any cancer in my body. The and the kind of cancer I have, it's it would be pretty unusual for it to come back in the next five years, mm -hmm. and then after that, you call you cured. Oh, okay. Um, so in, but like, if it's gonna come back, it's probably in the next two years. But it's so unlikely that they don't even scan you. You just sort of like within those two years, they they don't even check. Yeah, you don't get. Oh, it. I I've gotten my last uh, scan of the treatment plan. Right. And the only reason I'd have another scan is if there was something worrying that popped up. <sighs> do you, how so do you, I just have to be constantly aware of my body and being like, "Are you worrying? Yeah. Are you worrying? That's Any a thoughts? weird thing is about that, scanning. Is knee pain a cancer thing? Are you like? I mean, if you, you, I think a lot of people were probably, I mean, thrilled but also surprised by the progress made and the kind of immediacy of like, oh, great, positive right. Quite news. Quick. Were you surprised? I think maybe media I guess for has, us, though, I'm sure for you, time It felt like oh, it took God, quite a yeah. long time. Yeah. It's, but now it doesn't anymore because you don't, it's, your brain is so foggy. Right. It's very hard well, to remember I, anything. I'm just curious if it is, I feel like I, as much as anybody else, has kind of a warped perspective on cancer as kind of a, a yeah. it's like a trigger word for, oh my God, the, it's, it's crazy. It's always, but you just, I guess, don't hear a lot of, stories of success so much and there are a lot yeah it's just it's changed so much even in the last 20 years uh you know, i have a friend who got the same cancer as me 10 years ago mm. and his experience was much worse oh. oh uh like just he had to have a lot more chemo than i had and even though he he was pretty early stage too um but like yeah so so the thing is like 
we talk about cancer like it's a like it's a thing but it's like a hundred right. plus things. right like it's one it's a thing, bunch of it's like yeah. it'd be like calling it saying like i got virus yeah <laughs> right? like, oh yeah he, the virus the yeah. ills i got i and you're like okay which vi- did you, right. is it aids or is <laughs> yeah. it a cold uh, yeah who's to say yeah <laughs> so so that is like i mean it's by I've, I've learned so much about it now that like uh you know i've, I've had people come out to the show sometimes so i did a bunch of comedy in missoula and like you can tell you can sort of tell within like three like once you're in it within like three exchanges where they're at you know mm-hmm. like I, I was talking to a guy who was in the front row and his wife was like he has he's a cancer patient and i was like oh so like where are you at and he's like well you know we've had a lot of, like and she was like he's had 11 surgeries and i'm like that's bad mm. that means that like you don't have 11 surgeries all at once right right you know, like the cancer's coming back yeah and yeah. then it, and and i was like so where are you at and he was like we're in the wait and see and what that means is we're not treating it anymore Mm, so that means that means that's like a way of saying terminal yeah but like everybody in the audience doesn't know that right um that's why it's phrased that way yeah yeah yeah. and uh so like you know i'm also kind of in wait and see but like that's not what you'd say you'd say i'm in remission right yeah there's like a code do you you get a i assume that once you even maybe before official diagnosis you went hyper on on getting the data and the reality of the situation yeah i mean it it took me a little while to get into that uh well I guess not. <laughs> it depends on what you mean. So, like, I wanted a lot of hard numbers, yeah. and I found that they were actually kind of hard to come by. Like, mm-hmm. there there are things that you know, but you have to sort of understand what those numbers mean. So, once I was staged, it was like the you know five year uh, mortality is five percent, which is like low but high, right? You know, like that's a, high, a lot higher than I thought it was. Yeah, and uh, and there's lots of things where that number, like. At, at like the moment I started taking chemo and I could tell that the tumors were getting smaller, that number gets smaller because mm. for some people like that never happens. Like the, the cancer is just not responsive to the first line therapy. And you right. have to tell physically? Stuff. Like yeah. the sensation? Wow. wow. Yeah. You could, like I could feel, I gotta like, I couldn't like close my armpit without feeling it. Oh wow. And so like that started to be like squishier, mm. like the lymph node was squishier. Mm. Instead of being like a ball, just like a hard ball. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I'm, sh- I'm sure it's a, a like an annoying sentiment when people are like, uh, you know, a, a friend of ours had, um, I can say, because he talked about like, Jacob, a friend about Jacob, uh, Jacob Chop has talked about, he, his, a lot of his stand up is about his cancer and stuff like that. And he had brain cancer. He is very. He's jovial about it, but it's like annoying for people to always be like, wow, what, a, what an inspiration, especially family members. Yeah. But with your platform, I assume it was i feel like there must have been a lot of people saying, well yeah i mean I, I like it, bad things happen you want good things to come out of them you know mm, right. and that's part of what the stand-up i think was where i was like so sick and i was like what if what if i could make something that is different and interesting for my brain and it would be good for people and people would like it and then it would be like it'd be like a you know not like a reason i got sick but like something good mm. but what i want to i like i you were talking like what i'd like mostly is for, for people to like have a better idea of what it actually is that like it's 2024 uh more people who get cancer die of some other thing than die of cancer mm. and that's not how it feels you know that's not right. what you think yeah. and also like the like it you know but like obviously still it a lot worse than if you get a virus, you know. Yeah. So chances are, if you get a virus, you'll be like better in three days. Yeah. That's not. But sometimes people die of viruses, you mm-hmm. know. Right. Like we haven't cured. People are like, "Why haven't we cured cancer?" And I'm like, "We haven't cured virus." <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that's about a, virus? Yeah. Kind of famously, haven't cured point. virus. Yeah. They keep we, making we new ones. Too. We haven't cured bacteria. Right. Yeah. Like, like there's there, there people still die of stuff, and people like. The, I mean, the sad fact is, you can't cure cancer because every time you make cancer more treatable you create more cancer because people get older mm. oh. and right because it's like an eventuality yeah yeah like the like the problem the thing that the biggest risk factor and the biggest cause of cancer is just your body getting older mm-hmm. so in order to cure cancer you have to cure death which like i think maybe we could do but not like just soon people are trying give me a couple years 
There's yeah, that keep g- working on it. That I got, I got a couple ideas. Like injecting okay. his son's blood or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I'm sure he, that guy will n- never, nothing bad will ever happen to him as a man who's, who's tested every single untested <laughs> yeah. medical treatment on his own body. Yeah. I think maybe his son <laughs> will kill him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most common <laughs> is uh, We are Patrick often killed Bud. by the thing that we love the most. Oh, uh, no. And that guy true. really loves his son's blood. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He's going to fire his blood at him. <laughs> Um, jumping back to uh, the Tom Scott of it all, uh-huh. <laughs> who is now the icon for YouTubers retiring, yeah. in a sense, because Tom, you know, he, I think he updated his thumbnail to say like probably not forever. Or whatever. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Like, um, <laughs> so just cycle a little. Once he gets all the views in, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But there yeah. has been this moment of uh, a lot of everyone's going. What's happening? Everybody's quitting. I do feel like that comes in waves, but do you have, as someone who's been online for, you know, a very long time. Yeah. Um, but is young like us. Really but young. is, but is still uh-huh, young. Yeah, and, really fresh guy. Young and hip. Uh, do you have thoughts on that? Just like as the, I mean, I think page turns for so many creators. I think that it's great to look at. So like if you write a book and you finish the book and, and the book comes out, did you retire from writing books? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, or did you retire? You didn't retire. You finished that book. And so I kind of think of it that way where yeah. it's like, you know, Tom Scott did this thing for a long time and it's a body of work mm-hmm. and it was never going to go on forever. Right. And I like, so thinking about, you know, n- like each video as a piece of work, but then like that project where he made a video every week for however, yes. long, and like genius videos. Over yeah. And over it's again. I, impossible. Like, yeah. I do not understand how he did yeah. that. Um, that's, that feels like okay he made that and now like it's not like tom scott's like okay i'm gonna move to florida and play canasta yeah he's that's where he's he's going on the helicopter (laughs) he's up there he's he's up there counting cards uh i I didn't mean to grab the helicopter it was an accident (laughs) help me i'm dying (laughs) the update video i'm so afraid i'm still on the helicopter (laughs) (laughs) they don't know i'm down here (laughs) um but yeah i i totally and i think like like the matt pat is the sort of same thing where it's like i think matt pat's not done creatively like i think that to some extent he created theorist and it's a company and it does a lot of great things and it's exhausting in a lot of ways to be in charge of something like that as a person who is kind of in charge of something like that. Yeah. And like, I think great. Like the, the ability to like, if you are a person who like, I have a lot of friends who are like freelance writers and they're sort of always on the grind writing for magazines or blogs or doing copywriting. And, uh, and that's like, you know, if they wanted to quit, they can't, they got to pay the bills. Right. It's great for, I think for the, like industry to be mature enough that a lot of people are like, well, I want to try something new. Yeah. And like, I don't need to keep doing this. Yeah. So I think that that's kind of where it's coming from. And like, For the, sure. I don't think it, I think it's great. I think it's also good because it's going to free up those people to have new mm-hmm. creative ideas and, and make different stuff. And just do nothing for a while. Also, yeah. No, time, not yeah. allowed. Tom Scott doesn't seem like a do nothing kind of guy. Uh, uh, he's walking in the field. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, um, yeah, the reason I ask you specifically is because I remember as someone who, you know, was watching Vlogbrothers back in like 2007, I was like an Accio Deathly Hollows watcher. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Front page, you know, back yeah. in the day. I remember at some point you and John both were like, okay, we're not going to focus on growing Vlogbrothers. Yeah. We're going to focus on other projects. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of like, obviously it didn't end. Cause there was always, there was like many endings of Vlogbrothers, right? There's the first year of mm-hmm. like, what's gonna happen? Then there's the big, actually, we're gonna keep doing this. Every yeah. video ends, you know? right? The, uh, and every it's like, video I, remember, ends. I remember watching and finding that out. And I was like, oh, it continues. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Wow. I, you know? It's wild. Yeah. But, um, and then 18 years later, we're still doing it. Right. But, but obviously like <laughs> you're, but you're doing more, like it takes a, it, it yeah. sort of fits and into And like the idea where, of sort yeah. of saying like, okay, here's what Vlogbrothers is. And it's that, you know, like we make short videos once a week and, uh, and if YouTube changes and YouTube's like, you know, the videos that do well are 10, 15 minutes long, we're mm-hmm. going to be like, I don't care. Yep. Uh, you know, what does well is like, you have to think a lot about your title and your thumbnail and like the topic of every video and make sure that like, there's a way to get people in and like, we don't care. Yeah. We like, we want to have a relationship. Like we've, we are so lucky to have established a relationship with an audience. Who's just like, I will watch a thing yep. that you make. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, that 
and and like there's a way, there's almost a way that like people feel more appreciated by just like showing them whatever screenshot YouTube chose and a title that says what's in the video. I do think we're coming around. I think we've reached an audience I, exhaustion point. Yeah, no, mm. when I like do a custom thumbnail, people are like, eh, 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 eh. Yeah, I'm not gonna yeah. click on that. I think people have a literacy for the vibe of a video now that maybe they didn't initially. As the, I mean, at one point it just feels like it is text. Like literally, should I be excited? It's like, yes, you won't believe what happens next. And yeah. now they have the literacy for, you might be, that's, you're lying. Yeah. I feel like whenever well, I see that, you give me something. Yeah, yeah Mr. Yeah. Beast can't give away over a certain amount of money because it seems unbelievable, <laughs> even if he does give away. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like he's had to like sort of bring down, you know, yeah. the prize amounts and stuff. And that's, I think, much like the 2016 loud vlog era of um, diss tracks and music videos, et cetera, like that exhausted its audience people became like tired of it and i think mm -hmm. it stopped because it didn't i feel like in this business if something is still generating views it's going to continue as yeah. a trend and, yeah and so like i i think the audience like moves on and i think that i'm seeing a lot more like at least personally in my own videos just saying this is what it is i'm not going to say I, I found this wacky thing online i will just be like someone did this and I'm going to talk about it. And it's like, okay, <laughs> Look, you're not telling me there. how to feel. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just very like matter of fact. Yeah. Um, Look out. They're over there doing it. And so I, <laughs> I think there you. is an authenticity. In, and I do think it kind of goes in cycles. But yeah, there's an authenticity to like a, a vlog brothers video that you may not get from another type of video. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I like it's very important to remember that like uh, capturing attention is not the same thing as like building community. Mm -hmm. And uh, and like you need, you kind of, you certainly need to do the first thing first. Uh, but like, you don't have to do it every video. You know, not every video has to be about building the audience. Some videos are just about strengthening the audience or doing things with the audience. Right. Are you tempted to do a lot more stand up? Is that kind of the next thing that's scaling up? Not immediately. I feel like I wrote this show and I was like, this is, you know, I, and I wrote a lot of it on stage. Like I'd go out, I started doing 10 minutes and mm. then I built from there. And, uh, and I, it was a huge amount of work, which I didn't really understand how much work it is. So it's a lot That's of work. That's not fair, is it? <laughs> you know, it looks like, like that whole point of stand up is that it looks like it's not work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know? sure. And then you like get up, like you're like, I'm just talking. That's right. how I talk. And I'm making, and it's like, yeah. I, was, I was actually watching John Mulaney this morning and as a person who's now done it, I'm like, wow, he, this is so sharp and polished and refined and also like not like he's speaking in a character right he's a he's got a character voice like you yeah. hear him like do interviews he doesn't sound like john right. mulaney on a yeah. stage yeah, yeah yeah uh it's like watching the olympics and being like that no, that's pretty good <laughs> yeah wow Ooh, they just bronze. did that mm -hmm. okay yeah <laughs> he just went for a swim and he won a yeah. goal <laughs> <Bit lazy. laughs> the water makes you move yeah uh and and so i realized it's a lot of work and i like i'm also not uh i'm not a polished guy i'm not like that's not how i am i don't go for perfection um is but, there a lot of variance in each show it does oh yeah feel, oh yeah yeah uh, there's more than there should be <laughs> and um <laughs> But the, uh, I don't like it that much. Doing stand up? Yeah. Well, here's the situation. When I'm doing it on the stage, I'm like, I love this. This is the best. Beforehand, I'm like, this is the worst. And I never want to do right. this again. Afterward, I'm like, that was terrible. I don't want to do that again. Yeah. Uh, and then three months later, I'm like, I need to do that more. Right. Okay. Uh, so it was like, it's like, I just forget how much I hate before and after. And I remember how much I love the, when I'm actually on stage. Oh, it's the endorphin release that allows yeah. people that have given birth to get pregnant again. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> do you feel you feel bad about it immediately in the same sense that I, I would say most of us do after some kind of big performance and then later you feel good about it? Yeah. Or you just kind no, of No, I feel bad. So like I feel bad in a weird way that I can't really put my finger on. It's like a little bit of like being critical of what went wrong. Mm. Yeah. Every, like little piece that I, I do that messed up. Or but it's also just I'm so like there, I think there's like a biochemical thing happening mm. where I oh, just yeah. crash and I oh, feel yeah. bad. That's how I mean. After our live show, I felt <laughs> we did record. I was like, I feel I felt bad afterward. <laughs> and yeah. I feel I almost felt guilty saying that because it was yeah. like you know we did like a little live show with our 
podcast audience for the first time and everyone was super excited it went super well and then i <laughs> it was like in kind of a funk yeah afterward and I, yeah I mean, I I th- really i'm like explain. i'm like i could see how this is like what like you've heard stand-up comedians not like famous for their great mental health yeah, and the sure. lack of drug use right yeah. so i'm like I could, from John Lane. oh yeah trying to <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> yeah John, like his show about going to rehab is was very inspiring to me because i was like oh you can do a stand-up show that's just one story. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mike Birbiglia has been, yeah. you know, like one so of cool. my favorite guys yeah. just like growing up. Because I like, you know, we both grew up watching a lot of stand up and he's a great storyteller and just, and so many interesting things have happened mm. to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and health related too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, speaking of cropping life carefully while uh-huh. still releasing a lot of authentic stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm sure if we spoke directly to Mike Babilio and then pointed to like, wow, I feel like I know you because of the show. He's like, oh, I don't, it's, that's, yeah. first of all, it's been 10 years. Yeah. Oh, fun I fact. I don't do that anymore. Fun fact for any comedy heads out there. Uh, Mike Babilio has a 2006 album oh. and I can't remember the title, but uh, John Mulaney intros him in it. Ooh. Yeah, so it's like coming 2006, to the 2006, John Mulaney, baby. Yeah, well, yeah, and John Mulaney's first album, um, the top part was where, you know, I'm a bit of a, stand-up nerd so i was into john mulaney before it was cool but his first uh his before fir- it was funny his first stand-up, uh, no, but also after really it was good. cool after mm-hmm. it was cool too yeah yeah um oh, yeah he, he went the, to i mean mike probably and nick kroll and uh and Mike Birbiglia, nick kroll and john mulaney all uh are georgetown people oh, and cool. like mike probably was a few classes ahead like was an alumnus mm-hmm. who was like sort of starting to make waves and then like Nick Kroll and Mulaney were doing a lot like on the improv team or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yeah, they all go way back, but how long until fun. you, uh, you get the thirst for more stand up? I don't know. I like, I think that it, uh, like there's a, there's a functional problem where like I live in Montana and like, so I can like do shows in small theaters in my town, mm-hmm. but I, which I love doing because we have like a pretty good stand up scene, weirdly enough in <laughs> 70,000 people, Missoula. And uh, and so I get to like hang out and feature local talent. Yeah. And the but the so I could do that and work up work up a thing and then but I can't like do a big tour right, right. now like as a dad like be like I don't know I just I got too many things I need to do. Yeah, I think for you it's you just got too much stuff to do and it's not a function of energy. But for us, I would just be too tired. I, you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if, you're, if you're crashing after one show, as we did, I think, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> crashing as you prepare for the, the, on stage. This, I mean, this is the th- this is the trick. So I like got here Tuesday, and I've gone nonstop. Right, and that's the trick because I don't really have a chance to crash. Like mm-hmm. I feel bad at like one o'clock in the morning in the hotel room, mm-hmm. but I uh, like that I can't feel bad. I have to get in the car and drive and do Sad Boys. Right, and uh, and so I'm just sort of like coasting, and I will feel off <laughs> like thursday of next week like i should put it on the calendar like hank here's why you feel bad right now right a letter we to the knew future. this was yeah. going to happen yeah, yeah it's like if you, you are very and- sad your life is fine <laughs> if you went to vegas and got extremely drunk and then went home like why am i in such a bad mood what is this headache yeah what the hell that's a good idea though to give yourself a little heads up yeah ahead of time it's like here's my prediction right mm-hmm. thursday and friday you're gonna be sad <laughs> <laughs> i've stopped trying to plan things after any i know we're doing like a long record like if we oh, have a yeah. couple of, we're doing a backup show or something mm-hmm. that is uh I, there's not so much a sensation yeah. of dropping after sad boys it's so familiar at this point but there is a sensation of uh oh thinking really deliberately at all is not an option anymore. right yeah after, which is after uh, like a shoot day yeah, yeah. i'm doing sci show i'm like i always think I'll do SciShow and we'll finish at three and then I'll do two hours of work. No, we'll do SciShow and I'll finish at three and then I'll stare at a wall. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's so funny too because I never want to come off as like complaining and we got a great comment on the Patreon that oh, I yeah? keep referencing because <laughs> we were talking about, we like accidentally uh, recorded like a three hour main episode and then we like did our Patreon episode after that and uh, we're just kind of like sunk into our couch and just like, <laughs> talking yapping or whatever and somebody was like long day at the talking to my best friend factory <laughs> <laughs> my steel toe mix, mix on. Pull that yeah. um, one at the end of the factory day yeah okay. uh, but yeah it's a you know it's a charmed life but you know you still experience the range of human emotion yeah what is your relationship with like because obviously this stand-up show is very personal mm-hmm. 
Um, uh, but then like, uh, and so you may have some, emo- like you're saying, oh, it feels bad afterward. I'm like, you know, I'm deviating from the, the plan or whatever. There's all sorts of feelings. Do you ever feel that with something where it's more of a collaborative effort, like a SciShow episode? It's easier to not feel bad about a collaborative effort because uh, I'm more empathetic to people who are not me. Yeah. Um, and uh, and you and like you see other people's choices and you're like, you know, that was another person's choice and could be could be the right one. Right. You know, like who's, I'm, I don't know. Like yeah. it's not how I would have done it, but that clearly they thought that was better. Mm-hmm. They thought that was the right way, and yeah. like they could totally be right. Um, and also, like it's very, it's very nice to be able to be like, uh, like sometimes, absolutely sometimes, I'll be like, this script ain't working, uh, or something like that. Um, but almost always, it's it's just like I'm here, I'm doing my job, you're doing your job, yeah. And and like the the person who's putting this episode out isn't any of us. It's mm. SciShow, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the the weight does not fall on any individual. Yeah, that's kind of how we. It's like, it's like feel the about, system is in charge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's kind of how we feel about this show because it's like we want to be able to do other things as yeah. well, and so it made sense to like invest in a, you know, uh, a team. And we have Jacob now, who is like this mini tendril. We've described. We've never <laughs> yeah, shown wow. a picture of this, but we've a been having people do fan art of. Uh, uh. We described like it's a monitor with like a bunch of cameras, and we've got a bunch of like Lovecraftian, <laughs> like, yeah. like that are creature accurate. fan yeah, art. I know, I see it. He yeah. is kind of like inconceivable, you know, like a Cthulhu. It is beyond conception. Yeah, Breaks your like brain. The, like the top of a head, <laughs> yeah. top of a human head, and a lot of equipment. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I don't even have my phone right now because it, <laughs> someone did draw the, almost. It's like almost verbatim what it looks like, and we did not show them a photo mm-hmm. of it. Yeah. Um, I like it. I like the process of collaborating because you can give kudos to other people, and that's yeah. like refreshing. Yeah, because there's no, um, cause you know, they're probably not going to give it to themselves, and they're probably yeah. having the same doubts. And like, oh, I submitted the edit. Oh, how do I feel? Yeah, it's nice to be like, you are, the, you're great. Yeah. I like what this is. Even if there's feedback, it's like this is, you are as valuable as I was in this thing. And yeah. I don't know. I guess it's kind of a circle joke, but it's still fun. Yeah. To, you know, you see everyone smiling at the end of it, and really. Your channel, my channel, your other channel, the Sabbaths, yeah. whatever it is, that once it's out, you're like, look what we eh, did. Look at that. Look, look at it. Look, we got a subscri- yeah. subscriber badge or whatever. Yeah, I think it's harder to like make pure art that way. Sure. Mm-hmm. Though I do, I think I think there's ways to do it, but um, I but like it's a lot easier to make like a just a good thing. Mm-hmm. Sure. Well, maybe that pure art is is purer, but it might never finish or come out yeah, <laughs> yeah 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 or be good you yeah. know <laughs> um how are we doing oh wait, i do have my oh, it's almost 11 so i just want to be on yeah do, what do you want to do do you want to just sort of like pause and then like intro them and have like a sort of weird yeah. section section of why not guests yeah. i don't know let's can, do that I'm who okay. are we talking about uh you'll yeah. have to see oh, we we still, is this guest? also going to be in the podcast yeah are they in the thumbnail do you at all? <laughs> we do but okay. i think that people enjoy this there's like a little bit of a okay well, it is a surprise to them they yeah it's a depends because, if they suck because here's the thing now is, there's it, is it more than one person or is it a non-binary exactly yeah uh but see the thing the value of leaving it in the podcast is uh you've built suspense now yeah so so, so now there's yeah. like, oh, I'm gonna hang. Out. I'm either gonna scrub forward and see what happens, yeah, probably. or I'm gonna stick around <laughs> with special guests. And if Surprise, I mean, special you know, guests. if they suck, Jacob will cut around them <laughs> pretty aggressively <laughs> or dub. Hire the Marvel VFX <laughs> I think, team. I think I think suddenly I will be the least person on the podcast. <laughs> you can see your mouth open. Certainly, certainly the least cool person on the podcast. <laughs> but I'm used to that. One thing uh, before we jump <laughs> into this. Because uh, we can actually. also do, <laughs> we, we also have our game that we can do when our guests get here. That's but true, yeah. One thing I wanted to ask you about before yeah. this is like, as someone who's worked in the creator space for a long time and, and on the business side of the creator space, you know, sure. subable and things of that nature. When you see things like the current stuff that Twitch and Twitter are up to, yeah. do you have any thought? Like I, I like, I could say some specifics, but in the interest of time, is there anything that like jumps out oh, at you? I don't know. I mean, it's a mess. Yeah. I think live streaming is really tough. Mm-hmm. I think that it it's like, you know, it's obviously not ever going to end. Like mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a genre, it's a format, it's a medium that is like a, like established. And like, it, I think that it will be live streams 500 years from now of some yeah. sort. <laughs> um, just like there are still- <laughs> The wasteland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the forbidden zone. Just like, like there are still plays. Glorpal. Yeah. There's still radio. There will still be live streams. Hassan bot. 
<laughs> probably probably yeah. um uh, but but i think it's a tough business it's wild to me that twitch never figured out how to hasn't like figured out how to make money even though there is money in the ecosystem yeah i think that there i think that we underestimate how good youtube is at business mm. we underestimate yes yeah though i am like i have worries about youtube too yeah i think that and i think that like the people at twitter have always underestimated like not been not been like good at figuring out what's the valuable about the platform and mm -hmm. how to leverage it and i don't think that's changed in the last year i do I th think they've I, overestimated maybe recently. I, I think that they i think that they, yeah i think that the current leadership <laughs> um that's a way to put it yeah <laughs> I, I think that there's an there's an amount of like uh it's it's a little like you know if i here here's what i'll say if, if i looked at youtube and i was like there's so many problems i could fix all these problems and then you put me in charge of youtube i'd be like yeah i uh, that was i did not understand how complicated this yeah. was a big day of meetings i'm, I'm tired <laughs> i need a day off it's, tomorrow actually there's a lot of stakeholders at this table <laughs> and i do not know how, to, know how to satisfy all of them and if i don't satisfy all of them everything breaks um yeah. and i i think that there's a little bit of of that vibe where just like critics which is great. We need critics. We need people to complain yeah, about for things, sure. and like to so that that group of stakeholders will be heard. But I think that like they don't like you don't understand how fucking complicated all of this is, and it feels like a bunch of people who thought it was really simple got put in charge, and were like, no, it's really simple, and they won't accept that actually it's very complicated. Yeah. Oh wow! I'm, I thought I could do Melania. I thought I thought I could just stand up there yeah. and just kind of. Like, it looks like it looks like he's just talking. He's having a nice time. He just goes like this. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. I'm on cocaine. He puts on a suit. He does cocaine. <laughs> and then he gets on stage. I can um, do both of those. <laughs> I think that I do think that it is very complex. Um, I think that one thing about YouTube success that is understated is the fact that YouTube was not was a very difficult to maintain business uh, independently, which is why the Google acquisition made sense. Yeah. And then Google invested like d decades and uh, billions of YouTube not making money, investing in capturing like market share and like building this platform so that it can flip yeah. a switch and become this like, uh, gigantic business, second most, you know, uh, popular website on the internet, et cetera, et cetera. I do not think that Amazon treated Twitch with the same investment. It felt like they went, it felt like they went to money faster. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it, having talked to Twitch employees or, you know, product managers, et cetera, it, it feels like the pressure is on them now to find profit. And in this competitive landscape, in the competitive streaming landscape where now unfortunately you also have kick kick shouldn't exist like it feels like the kick is the yeah. result of a market opportunity f fumbling it should yeah. not of, be of, viable of, yeah. of twitch kick. and um and then like youtube is in the space and and like what if vimeo I don't, launched i don't now? know i've like yeah i've had some uh, yeah. disagreements in person <laughs> with with some twitch leadership yeah. where where they were like you don't understand how expensive this is and i was like you don't understand that no one ca is going to empathize with a company and how expensive it is to run your company yeah when the creators are the ones getting the shit into the stick and uh, the only people gonna, that can advocate for you the only people that can ad advocate for you and they're going to be pushed they, they're not it's not even a choice at some to some extent they're going to be pushed away from your platform because it cannot provide for right. them. i don't know i mean that's this the wild thing is that that is what happened to vine yeah mm -hmm. but like tiktok figured something out well but have they i don't even know like tiktok's wild now that it's tried to turn the bend to become profitable mm -hmm. and it just is the so much apocalypse. less cool. Yeah. TikTok, I think, is, sucks on TikTok now. TikTok kind of is a little bit immortal by virtue of having so much cultural cachet. Yeah, like it well, has to be is, something. But also, that's, imagine saying that about MTV in 1995. You know, yeah, that's, I, I did. <laughs> I was one year old. <laughs> but also, TikTok was not playing the same game though as Vine because. Uh, no, like we, not, there was music, and vine. then there was like Do it's not going to go Vine, but yeah. I think it could absolutely do what MTV did, where it was yeah. very cool, and now it's boring reality TV, bland 
American culture. Yes. And mainstream. Yeah. Fi, whereas yeah. T- like TikTok's biggest moat is that it was cool. Mm-hmm. And now, and now it's yeah. not as yeah. cool anymore. And YouTube's like YouTube and re- like shorts and reels are like, well, we're not cool. Mm-hmm. But we're like just as good. <laughs> it's and, honest. <laughs> and yeah. like, we're not maybe but we don't have as many advertisements. We right. could get your interests wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jordan, Dude, Joe Rogan. I heard that you like rockets. Do you like transphobia? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really like, come on. That, come yeah. on. What's wild is uh, that happened on um, uh, threads, like the Instagram insert oh, ads yeah. for threads where like, I think they were just, they had some sort of naive algorithm that was like. Oh yeah, they had like a bad week there. <laughs> find Something the went most wrong. divisive thread yeah. as possible. And yeah. it's just maybe the worst fi- post. Just the worst seen. takes. It seems, yeah. uh, it seems like, like even, a lot of people yeah. are talking about even this. Like the, even like the the pro trans takes, I was like, you shouldn't say that yeah, one. That yeah, one's also yeah. bad. Like it, you you found a thing that's gonna make. Somehow. Like, they're gonna, well, I mean like, at, like there's always somebody having a bad take somewhere. Yeah, like yeah, we yeah. all have bad takes. And they somehow surfaced and the, it and with like, let's find that one because uh, yeah. it's getting so much engagement. Right. It, it was the pure engagement thing, which is, yeah. I, we talk about, the, like in the Sad Boys bingo, we complain about Twitter at least once an episode. But the fact that <clears throat> Elon has now like mon- monetized bad engagement bait, yeah, where like every reply has been destroyed of like a viral post and it's like making you watch like, hey, did you want to watch like a fight? <laughs> like, it's like, I don't know. Yeah, I that's weird. What yeah, is, and then uh, you, I see you've been looking at old ancient memes. What about <laughs> war? It feels <laughs> like um, I am like, uh, if I tap into like one of those videos, it is now trying to keep my attention by all means necessary. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, um, maybe you don't like the fight. What about a picture of a cute dog? It's like, <laughs> okay. and it's like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Cute. Like and, a Venus flytrap. Yeah. And here, it's a little bit like TikTok, but like with a race to the bottom of like the worst posts imaginable that get <laughs> yeah. 500,000 impressions and three mm-hmm. likes, but it doesn't matter because you got all the impressions. And so that's what, you know, dictates whether or not you get the rev share. It feels more like somebody trying to explain their dream to you. It's <laughs> like, no, it's cool because it, it looked like my dad, but it was like, it wasn't. Yeah. And you're like, okay. <laughs> yeah. You told me about this. <laughs> and I said I wasn't interested. It's, a, I mean, I think it's like, a, it's kind of exciting how messy the time suddenly is. It, like is it funny. was like three years ago, it was like, well, YouTube and Google are going to own the internet forever, I guess. Yeah, true. And now it's like, oh, open AI is like, fuck you, Google. And you, Google's like, do you, I guess we should make Google worse then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, and then TikTok is like, uh, so you, you thought you had video? You don't have video anymore. Right. And, and, and Neil Mohan's like, I guess we're going to launch a product that's like, we've been working on for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, you know? literally like imagine, yeah. And even even um, Threads is like, we weren't ready to launch this, but no, yeah. Elon made uh, the bad, like said something weird. And so maybe this is the right time yeah, to every, capitalize. Every time Elon says something like, where you're like, and that seems like really close to white supremacy. <laughs> yeah. Like threat, like the people at Meta are like, <laughs> oh, this is a new influx of users. Elon yeah. Musk slips in a banana peel and <clears throat> tweets like, Matt Walsh is pretty epic bacon. He is a criminal. Oh, no. yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you ever get get the sensation of or the pressure, literally internally, to adjust the way you present your content or market your content to? adhere to like some of the products they're featuring like doing memberships or i mean we get money sometimes like they pay us cool. like tiktok paid me early on to like make science videos oh okay they're like we want more educational content on the platform so like then we won't pay you to make any old tiktok but if you make one that's educational we'll like kick you some cash specifically for that we got money for posting youtube shorts we got money for i, I got that uh, I think we I think we got money I don't know if we got money for or like an advance on memberships at YouTube but like I've I've always felt like that doesn't work like that's what is kind of happening right now it feels like with, with Twitter where they're like let's take Jimmy like t- let's take a Mr. Beast video and like just dump a ton of views into it and then whatever rev share there is will you know tweak the thing behind yeah. the scenes so that, so that Mr. Beast makes a lot of money and then people but like that just seems like you can it, it falls apart pretty quickly because yeah because like it's not scalable it. yeah yeah even it's if, not like Twitter has a bunch of money to spend right it's that's a bad the business. thing they're like <laughs> they're like uh, really really a not a good 
financial place. Yeah. Uh, and and so that's going to be interesting. I think to that see. Elon is in an okay financial place though. So maybe he'll just keep like he always said like you can't like trust anything he says. I'm not saying like that. Like that's not like a he's a bad person. Take that's like he says things and then he doesn't do them more. Yeah. He, like you know, we'll I'll, we'll never offer more stock and then he offers more stock or I'll, like I'll never jealous. Know. Of me? Jealous oh, of I'm Elon. Oh, I'm jealous of Elon. Jealous of Elon. That's... You wish you were Tony Stark. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you had a bunch of non-functional products. <laughs> I, think, I, think there are, I think there are some things that I might be jealous of Elon about, but mostly <laughs> not. His looks. His, it's his, his jujitsu. I mean, I, yeah, it's the jujitsu. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's I actually can't come up with it. Yeah. Yeah. There's probably something. something. I'll oh, be it's honest. A long there's list. Probably we cut something. out, we had to cut out the list for, <laughs> um, it's night for bread. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, I, yeah, I just don't think that that, that ten, that doesn't tend to work. Like YouTube's tried it so many times and yeah. it, it kind of pissed me off when they sort of like cloned pa uh, Patreon product. Oh, that was interesting. I was like, Cause they was, had like done a lot of behind the scenes work with Patreon and like talked about how they, and they, yeah, but internally at Patreon, I think everyone was always on the defense with YouTube. Yeah. And so when that happened, it wasn't a big, it wasn't a big scare. However, um, however, it felt like a, an, a, an inevitability. Like I asked about that in my interview with Patreon, I was like, what if yeah. YouTube clones your whole shit? <laughs> yeah. And, and, and and I do think that, you know, Patreon does have a story. Like there is a kind of an answer to that. There's also a reason that we use Patreon other, and not YouTube memberships, even though the it would be easier. We'd probably convert more people yeah. being right next to the YouTube video to I, YouTube shorts. Yeah, yeah. YouTube I, I think that YouTube overestimated how important that was. Mm -hmm. That like the, this sort of like, because in, in e-commerce, like getting the number of clicks down between wanting mm -hmm. something and buying something yep. is very important. Could be exponential. But I don't think that that's that important with crowdfunding because like these are people who are motivated to help you. Like, Sentiment yeah, but is it a also depends. It's, it's not as, it could be more, but it's not as impulse buy. Yeah, but then there's also the kind of the crowdfunding um, psychology versus the... Um, I'm giving you exchange value exchange for like a product, yeah. Which which uh, yeah, if it's more of a product, then probably because I think that. for me at Patreon, I became very wary of operating. Like, so I saw so many creators on the back end, mm -hmm. um, getting so much goodwill from people that then turned because they began mm -hmm. to be expectant uh, of things and um, entitled. Mm -hmm. to things and that was never a like relationship that i wanted because i saw how much like yeah how shitty it could be to like have yeah. someone feel like they owned you because they like gave you a dollar a month mm -hmm. and so i think for us like for our patreon it's like you get the extra episode and leave yeah. us alone you know like and, the, that, and, and not leave of, us alone like it's a community but like we don't want to create the idea yeah, that we're or the expectation get, that like give, yeah, yeah. As we'll much, give you access give you like you don't want you especially don't want people to feel like they're buying the ability to control you Yes. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Or, or even it's, it's <clears throat> but Jarvis uh, Engineering Edit Partnerships how we met at Patreon. Oh, cool. And at the time, the optics of Patreon when we when I started and then you started were very much charity. That was e branding, you know, e yeah. Stuff, yeah. yeah, which had uh, you know at launch seemed very viable, seemed very appealing. That's why yeah. there was the per video model, and and, mm -hmm. and that was there. But then, as larger creators wanted to use the platform. The p Patreon's plan was we will just rebrand and market so aggressively that people will stop thinking that. And that mm -hmm. just is not possible. It's a, yeah. already a foundational thought. Yeah. Then uh, uh, Patreon started investing more in like white label white services, label things where you yeah. can, you can uh, grandfather in the services, full, but yeah. skip past the aesthetics, which works great. And then yeah. in the case of, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if I want to say which part is using it, but people that use it uh, that can find a nice hybrid between the branding of their own organization or what's yeah. seen as an organization and the sentiment of, I'm a part of this, I'm, in, I'm yeah, involved in myself. Yeah, like and, you're supporting it, but also you're buying something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And it's like for some people, it's like their NPR subscription that comes with like a tote bag once a year is yeah. like they don't want the tote bag. Uh, or they, it's more about the support. So it's yeah. like trying to balance like, okay, are we actually giving ad adequate value? Uh, because I mm -hmm. think you could still, because you're not going to get to like write, it's not like a 501c3 mm -hmm. where you're going to get to like write off yeah. your, you know, your contributions. But 
I don't yeah. think Twitch has figured out what their association is with that, whether it is about with like exchange just, with memberships or yeah, whatever whether, they call yeah, it. Yeah, also primes are like keeping, are, yeah. are just like kind of cooking the books a little bit too mm-hmm. for like the volume of right, right. membership. And I don't know, man. I just think. Uh, it's messy right now. It's really weird. I kind of like it. I'm they like, are, I don't know what's going to happen. Well, I, what I well you live like, for the drama. <laughs> I live for the business drama. <laughs> I could leave a lot of the drama, but the business drama is very exciting. Where, uh, where the business drama gets me is whenever I see Twitch last year laid off 400 people, this year laid off 500 people. Yeah. They're, how many people are at that, Twitch? Exactly. They've lost uh, like 30 to 40% of their like workforce yeah. over the past two years. I think closer to 30%. But anyway, that's where I get upset because I think that those type of large shifts are like a function of mismanagement and over promising sure. and over hiring and over but yeah, yeah over promising to investors and then over hiring yeah. as a result or you know you have these uh but the thing is that shouldn't happen to twitch because it's not like they're a um they're a public company yeah they you know someone at amazon should have been more realistic <laughs> but i think yeah. that you know you can't expect that obviously like what am i saying someone at amazon be realistic whatever but, um, what did but, they do something but but yeah it's like but when people like invest their i just don't like people losing their jobs and when you know hundreds of people lose their jobs at once it's something else went wrong it's wild yeah uh do you have any issues that are like i guess probably for a long time now of viewers and fans being surprised that there's like infrastructure to what you do as opposed to the yeah i have a joke indie. in my show that's uh you know uh, it it it's basically like me getting diagnosed with cancer and being like, I don't, it's like I'm on a plane and I'm on the, the only person on the plane and there's something wrong with the plane and I don't know anything about plane. <laughs> <laughs> and then the joke is that the person I'm talking to, this is a fake conversation, says, yeah, you do. I saw you do a, a whole crash course on the anatomy and physiology of planes. Uh, and you're like, oh, I, yeah. And then and the, <laughs> the joke is that was eight years ago and I was reading a teleprompter. Yeah. And people in the audience are like, what? <laughs> okay. Like, no, I just said all of anatomy and physiology into a camera out of my head. You lie. <laughs> <laughs> Our special guests There's are here. People. Oh, my God. Elon's here. <laughs> Pardon the interruption. We are joined by two very special guests. Welcome to the stage. Just kidding, like you're gonna perform. Fly in a boss. Hey, hey. <laughs> and uh, go ahead. Can you start rapping? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're fly in a boss. Oh, oh, shit. Just oh the not- mics are melting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh Hank, yeah, uh, you know, Hank and I were, you know, scheduling the show. And then <laughs> Hank, in a very uh, Hank coded way, said to me, I have me, terrible news. Said, said to me, Is it cool if Flyanna Boss comes over at 11? And I was like, Yes. <laughs> but like, we were, I wasn't expecting this. This is such a pleasant surprise. No, I, uh, yeah. And it's we're just, happy to facilitate this first meeting. I mean, it sounded like you were saying, They're my ride. Yeah. <laughs> we can meet. Yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah no, I have a Nissan Altima, but I'll take whatever you got <laughs> i yeah i, I mean i was i've sort of like uh when i'm coming to la which for with like a hunk of time which happens you like put up the bad signal five years i'm like i need to see as many people as i can yeah. right <laughs> and it gets complicated when you're trying to do that absolutely you see and people be I, like, I'm told. I was in i was hanging out in their tiktok live <laughs> and they were like are you actually hank green and i was like i really like that new song skateboard <laughs> yeah <laughs> He was there. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh and and then I was like I'll DM you. They said you should hang out and I was like I should hang out. And right. I DM them and I was like how how would And then I was like where would we meet? And I right. was like Jarvis's house. I that's guess. I I'm glad that that's where we decided to meet. Yeah. I was uh you know showering this morning getting ready uh for the show and I just put on like your music and I found myself dancing in the shower and I was like, I need to get ready. (laughs) I need to, I can't do this. I actually, Hank's about to arrive and I'm sitting here uh, telling Christ I'm about to sin again, you know? But now you feel ready for the day. Oh, absolutely. (laughs) I did the same and it made me so pissed off. It made me furious. I'm like, this isn't me. It's very, (laughs) (laughs) who is yelling at me? (laughs) Where are they? (laughs) It is you. That was we you. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah think of it. Yeah, it was head. the focus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what music is. Um, I think you guys have a videographer coming. You're gonna film some stuff. Yeah, yeah. But before we get into that, we did. Jordan prepared a game. Oh, prepared. Well, yeah, we love preparedness. <laughs> yeah, and so uh, I don't know, Jacob. Do you have all the stuff you need for 
Jordan's uh, game. Or? Why does it say business coach credit fraud uh, on the oh, list? Oh, because There's we were going to... Jacob, nothing to pull up yet. I'll just... Uh, do you want to... Do we have that business coach credit fraud TikTok? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is... Uh, Whoa, this is great oh. news. Business coach credit fraud. Our limits, let's go. So the first thing you want to do is you want to sign up for QuickBooks. Then you want to go ahead and... Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, no, tell Since me how it works. Great. LLCs, I'm going to send my other LLC an invoice for 2100 nice finger. And I'm going to put the limit there. This, yeah, this and I'm going to put how much yeah. for there. there. And then wow. I'm going to send it over. Once I receive the invoice, I will then pay it off with the credit card I want to increase my limits with. It will then deposit into my bank account. Yeah, yeah. Once I get uh, the yep. money in my bank account, I will then pay off the credit card with the same exact money. Once I pay off the credit card, I'll do it a couple yeah, times that, yeah. and I will then call my bank and ask them for a credit limit increase because my limits are too low. A bonus is that QuickBooks will also give you funding because it looks like it's <laughs> wow <laughs> bonus fraud. I I, I mean I, had I, money. I a little bit respect the hustle. Like, oh yeah, yeah. The yeah. If you didn't know it was illegal, yeah, great that, idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There yeah. are so many hacks like this on TikTok where someone accidentally admits to a crime, right? And then they delete it. I saw sometimes. Sometimes I think uh, pe- to, to people like, are are you having a good idea or are you an asshole? <laughs> there was a stand up comedian who told a joke once about how they had rented a car and uh but they were late for their flight so they just drove to the place where you like to the like departures area and left the car there oh yeah and i was like that's not a fun that's like a that's that's just mean like now like (laughs) what like somebody from the rental car place now has to go get the car right when people just say some unethical shit they did and they're like yeah i'm not gonna get in trouble for it yeah i don't know how to explain what compassion is yeah Yeah. it's like what what happened is that nobody thought to be that much of a dick before there (laughs) is a ethics (laughs) going the way there is a great job uh, a trend on TikTok called unethical life hacks and most of them yeah. are crimes or evil things that you would never do if you had com- compassion yeah. for another right. person. You guys see dark psychology? Sometimes yeah. though, it's just so this, funny. This phrase. Some sometimes you need like you yeah, like have like a uh, uh, the mafia after you and you need 2 million dollars really fast <laughs> yeah, and sure. then you do what you got to do. Unethical things. Um, what um, you'll notice is other people have organs and then you can take them. <laughs> and sell the organs. <laughs> I, it's not illegal. I, I actually oh. wouldn't know this was a crime if I saw it. But that's, Sorry. that's yeah, so I wouldn't educational. Either. I would just think, oh, okay, you're doing yeah, something. Absolutely, doing something. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it doesn't see it. Like, but they yeah. let you do it. Yeah. That's a great point because a lot of people, like, this goes viral, it gets up, upvoted, and then... Yeah, you couldn't do it if it was illegal. They and, and it's, it off. it's meant to be educational. So the, co- yeah. the consumers of educational content are the people learning something from the video who mm-hmm. don't yeah. know, and they don't know that they're learning a crime, and that's why it is also <laughs> harmful. It's <laughs> also yeah. bad. Yeah. You should do it in SciShow. Yeah. So what happens after they make these videos just outing themselves that they're committing crimes? I mean, theoretically, they just stop. No, I think no one comes if out like do, yeah. If you do like a little fraud a little bit. A little yeah. fraud. <laughs> Maybe yeah. fraud is yeah. okay. Big fraud, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. There was a guy who was like, Too much capping. Um, if you create a business credit card and then uh, you declare bankruptcy on the business, <laughs> I just bought this $25,000 <laughs> Rolex. Oh, no. And they can't get it from me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They can. And then it was like, mm, no, they, they can't. Now no. they can now. I'm moving my wrist <laughs> really fast. They and it's can. like, haters wish they knew this tip. Or like, <laughs> and then they like deleted the TikTok, deleted their account. And then on TikTok, they're like flexing and they're like, people just don't know how I do, how I, <laughs> like, how I get like this. Oh, and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, like, oh, we know. It's, it's not like, good. Here's a dress and social security number. Yeah, you should, you can turn up if you want. <laughs> I, this is the, I have a bonkers story. There's a guy who lives in like town near mine. He ran a lumber mill and then the lumber mill closed down, but he like made a good amount of money. And then he started to be a gambler professionally. And then he moved to the Bahamas and then they found his body on the beach without a head. Oh. <laughs> That's they know it was and now his house is the best VRBO in town. <laughs> I mean, oh, is that where his head is? I don't think so. Oh. But he had, he had like, like down the valley, he, like he had, he built this giant, like four story resort just for himself wow. on a hot spring. And so it was like, like just the pool is like hot. It's like a giant hot tub. It's amazing. We had our company retreats there for a few years. And I was like, this, why is this place here? And then I read the story and I was like, oh, because this man gambled until the mafia killed him. Oh, it is. No. Fu- it's funny to live your entire life running a 
slashing company, yeah. a cutting and slashing company, and get beheaded after it closes. Yeah. Like, avoid yeah, getting like, anything just, like, cut saws off. everywhere, <laughs> and he was fine. And then it, the, there's a story I read in the, in the newspaper, and it's, his lawyer is quoted, and it says, as far as I'm concerned, the mafia doesn't exist. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Judge. Which is the kind of thing that you would say yeah. if the mafia existed. Yeah. Right. yeah, it's like shaking. Like, yeah. Come on. It's like, just so you know, I think this happened. I think his head fell off at the beach. <laughs> that's, yeah. what, that's what the mafia says. What, what was so, like, the gang trial recently where uh, it was like some Rico case where they just started making up new acronyms for what, like. Oh, like Young the, Thug. It was yeah, it was thug, a Young yeah, Thug yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, where they're yeah. like, actually, this means love my mother always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And not like the Texas State Killers. <laughs> yeah. I, I love great improv lawyers that like they get they get uh, new undiscovered evidence brought to them like out of discovery. They have twenty four hours to figure out an answer, mm-hmm. and the the evidence is like we saw him holding the sword, cutting off the guy's head. And you're like, no, <laughs> you're Taking that no, you didn't. bull bull bullshit. <laughs> and I was actually there, and I saw him not do it. Yeah, uh, correct. Sir. Well, Jordan, do you want to do a little? Yeah, part, we've part got. Of I, I pull up, there's like a few options, and each one's five ten minutes. Okay, yeah, nice. we just do one. Maybe do one. My God, I should ask you guys to dress me. Mm. We can do it now. Can, can I go upstairs? Why not? You just come down with all the turned around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this how they wear it? <laughs> I remember in the nineties. Oh that, man, that's too much power to let. Yeah. me that just dress yeah. you embarrassingly. Yeah, well, I don't think I'd fit in most of your clothes, but yeah, some cr- of them. crisscross. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. Yeah, it was a thing. It'd I was actually alive, unlike you people. <laughs> hey. We were too. What? Well, yeah, because we're because oh, you're forty two. Yeah, yeah. 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 it was a great time, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. We all were jumping. <laughs> At the juke joint. At the juke joint. <laughs> Yesterday we were on live and we said we we go way back with Hank. Like we're meeting Hank tomorrow. We yeah, haven't seen him in so many oh years. My God. <laughs> I don't yeah. think I don't feel as though you were the temperament to tell everyone they are lying. <laughs> I think you no. might just go like, yeah, uh, shit, yeah, definitely. It's I think that they they say that you should yes and. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so we went to high school together. Yes, yeah. yes, and we it was a <laughs> yeah, the, musical arts high school. Yeah. Oh, uh, Hank's yes, got a of voice course. On in Montana, remember? Mm-hmm. So and you were gonna Venmo me to an artist. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Don't ruin yes. it, bro. <laughs> Something happened with the Venmo. Uh, <laughs> yes, but I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing cash. That was <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> No, but seriously, I could really use them. <laughs> Me well, and the mafia. We'll take a credit card and then take that Trans- money, 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 money and turn into another my one. And then, and then make an invoice. Yeah, uh, so you yeah. have to bank for more money on I'm another I'm not a money guy. You know, I, I don't know. So it sounds like yeah. QuickBooks yeah. is going to yeah. be like, here's 40 grand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got some TikTok <laughs> you can watch. Yeah. The QuickBooks lawyer is being like, but those that said in the TikTok. Because I have to give it. Have you seen those real estate TikToks where somebody goes, well, if you take a million dollars and you split that across five investment properties, yeah, and it's like, where did you get it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're already in real estate, not a bunch of houses. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. All my, right. My little game. quiz. Uh, you guys said that you like conspiracy theory. Yeah. yeah. And ha- that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> we should do that the whole episode. And uh, Hank, I've I've seen through many a show that you do not like. Sometimes I sometimes I think they're grand. <laughs> grand <laughs> conspiracies? Is that a conspiracy? Yeah. Grand. Depends on. Grand. I was watching the Minions movie the other day. Oh. As you do by yourself. Uh, no, with oh. some friends, and it, it takes place in 1968, and uh, it does? yeah, the first one, not Rise of Gru, but just the Minions movie, uh, okay. and uh, and it's before it's Gru's a kid, uh, and the Minions are right. The Minions appear to be immortal beings that have existed since mm. humans, mm-hmm. uh, True. or before that, they were little tadpoles. They're like in the back of the early of like the Abraham Lincoln assassination. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like they're in the audience. audience. They did it actually. Yeah. That's the conspiracy <laughs> theory I'm into. Behind the motorcade. And, the, and, and, and in 1968, the Minions are sort of like traveling around and they stumble into a soundstage where they're filming the moon landing. And I was like, fuck <laughs> you. That's awesome. The Minions movie people. Oh, that's actually but, hilarious. That is very funny. That Joke's not for me. <laughs> Any, not for me. Anyone from NASA there with their kids? Yeah. Oh, they just like me. What the hell? <laughs> That's me. Buzz Aldrin's like punching the me. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I can't do control you, him. Do you like the videos then of um, like flat earthers accidentally creating an experiment that proves the earth oh, is round? I mean, I yes, very you. much so. <laughs> <laughs> they take the lawyer route of just being like, this is the, the test was well wet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it was wrong with it. I Something must it in be wrong, off in the atmosphere. Just I saw says, some TikTok of a, a man like holding a long stick of some sort <laughs> over like a cliff and being like, see? <laughs> <laughs> and I just really thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Poking China. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Look. I got the longest stick I could yeah. get. <laughs> There's no curve. <laughs> if, if the earth was curved, how come I did, how, why? <laughs> exactly, why? <laughs> that seems scary to me. <laughs> <laughs> how come I ran? Just I ran like, where's the edge though? Where's If it's flat, where's the edge? <laughs> right? yeah. It could be around any corner. <laughs> I <imagine. laughs> those those, those people live time. in fear yeah. of yeah. falling on the earth. Have you ever been to Venice? It's right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is the San Andreas fault. Yeah. It's just the yeah. end of the, the other one's going to snap and fall off. Do they believe in space? Uh, this yes. is the wild thing. Yes. There, yeah, yeah, the there's an argument <laughs> among the flat Earth people about whether the other planets are flat or not. Oh. oh very funny to believe they are. Yeah. Very funny yeah. to get invested in. Earth no, like, the, so, like, Earth is flat, but all the other ones, you can see how, like, the light shines on them, mm -hmm. and that wouldn't do that unless they were spheres. So, there's, like, some people oh. who are like, yeah, the moon is it's a sphere, a but moon. Earth is flat. Right. <laughs> Despite, I get it. I mean, you can't see the curves of the moon. <laughs> you can only see it from. Yeah. But, all right. Well, I, um, hey, what do I know? I haven't seen minions. I don't know how. They're trying to figure it out. <laughs> they're doing their best. It definitely uh, looks like a circle, though, have. sometimes. Yeah. It'll pull it up sometimes. <laughs> pull up the moon. That is, is that is actually how Joe Rogan yeah. finds out yeah. facts. <laughs> Jamie, pull that up. He goes, "Is it round?" Jamie, pull that up. It's, it's like a drawing he did. <laughs> oh yeah, crayon. That's the moon. Uh, but oh, I pulled up. Oh, what yeah, was your game? Sorry. Oh, I pulled up a couple conspiracy theories. Right. Okay. Oh yes. As, what are uh, we? How, how, are we, how are you going to gamify theory. this? That, that was really theories. good. Like, you might have a future in music. You're like pulled up a couple conspiracy theories. Pulled up a couple. That actually means a lot. <laughs> do you really Career think that? Change. Yeah. Career change. Career change. Yeah. Because I wanted to do that, and I compromised on podcast. <laughs> yeah. oh, you have a great voice. We talk about it all the time. Yeah. We're voices. looking for a third member yeah. of our band, so. I mean. <laughs> Which one do I get to be? Lee Jarvis <laughs> said. You get to be number two. Oh. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know okay. how, but. <laughs> I'm not uh, too old. <laughs> no, we're 42. Yeah. I, I do want to get it. Are, you I, might be too young. I, yeah. I, do, I do want to get it on mic I, that when you came in, one of the first thing Hank says was, yeah. you look older on video. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking the brave don't thought. include that. A brave, brave thing to say. Oh, yeah. That was actually to hilarious. To someone that was you really just sweet. met. Yeah. I'm sure you did. No, imagine you if you said things. you look so much younger. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's way worse. Wow, you guys look so old. You look like a couple of 42-year-olds. Online. Online. I guess say whichever one you aren't currently in if you're not online be like oh you look yeah. great I'm not yeah. online. that's crazy and then in the live be like live no it's better like i thought you were ugly and you're not like it's better <laughs> that right. you look really oh. terrible online yeah but in but person, in person amazing. Wow, your music is trash in person but like now but live, i'm seeing it live amazing wow. it's better <laughs> better that's <laughs> better All people right. do experience grief when they find out that we are our ages because oh, yeah, yeah. people are like, I thought you were one of us. Oh. Yeah. Because people online think at 25, you're supposed to shrivel up and die and not and, have and like, dream. Yeah, and you, and it's, you no, give you up on to. everything and you settle not for podcasting. Anymore, yeah, like, you settle for podcasting. Oh, yeah. No, I thought you guys were like, like 19 when you walked in the room. Thank you. That's great. Okay. We'll keep That's it. not where it is. It's not we're, where we're it 42. is. We're 42. Yeah, we're really old. <laughs> we're older than these two. Yeah, what do you think I was? Uh, look, I know I know that I'm leading from the front. Is all I'm saying. You, you know, you I'm know, out, fun I'm fact. here. Hank, Jordan, and myself all have the same birthday. <gasps> can we guess it? Can we guess it? Oh, wait, I just told you. It's, uh, May 5th. I, uh, how Whoa. Is it May 5th? It is May 5th, yeah. Oh, we have a friend who has that birthday. great. And here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great what? holiday. <laughs> it's, yeah, true. All right, Jordan. This, like, no. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's about age. Uh, yeah, I'm young as hell. There's a one in particular... A, I found one of my favorite ones of all the conspiracy theories. I've Sorry, heard. did you know in Ethiopia, like you're younger? <laughs> like a year? Ethiopia, yeah, like, yeah. They go by yeah, they go they by different, different calendars. Years. Oh. Yeah, so in Ethiopia, you're younger. Yeah, yeah. you're a different age because you know what age is a construct. Anyway, it is. About, I don't suppose Kenya has that because that would help me. <laughs> Are you Kenyan? Are you Kenyan? Yeah, half Kenyan. Yeah. 
So well, it could be half a year. It's in the younger. same continent, so. It's the same shit. <laughs> it's fine. It's a small continent, so I'm pretty sure yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a really yeah, yeah. tiny like, continent. Yeah, it's a mini yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty so tiny. On the map. So, so just adopt the whole yeah. continent. That's it, what I do. It's a dot. It's flat. <laughs> yeah. I guess. <laughs> Mostly, kind of. Uh, but I have some, like, keywords for this conspiracy. I'm just going to give you the keywords. You guys try and guess what it is. What the full ah, conspiracy is. Oh. And then we'll, okay. we'll do three quickie rounds, and once you, once either somebody gets it, we show it. This sounds hard. Of course. Okay. <laughs> so I think it's going to be like moon landing and forks, and it's like they used forks to fake the moon landing. <laughs> yeah. oh. How come they never ate any food with the fork on the moon? <laughs> <laughs> this is one what? small bite for man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, really Jacob, I did send you the wrong link. Uh, I'm going to go with. Okay. Ocean moon. Ocean moon. The aquatic theory? What's that? Yeah, what is that? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> do guess. Ocean moon. <laughs> like, is that no. all we get? Ocean moon. Uh, ocean moon. Any guesses? I can give you another guess. But the tide. Anyway. What, oh. that it exists? That it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> that, there's no, that the tide has never been high. That's well, tides, the tides, the tides, are, the tides are created by by just like it's like a bathtub sloshing around <laughs> as yeah. we go around the sun. Someone got in. It's God's <laughs> bathtub. Oh, yeah. uh, God's taking a bath. Is this flatter? Incorrect. It is uh, about the structure of of, of the earth. Okay. Wait, are, you do you have another word? Oh, I mm, give you another yeah. hint. Okay, yeah. We'll get do, it more. Um, <laughs> the structure of the earth, mm. moon, ocean. Really close. Uh. The moon, the ocean is the teardrops of the moon. Yeah. Oh, that's Aww. actually, that's like Norse mythology. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's so sweet. The moon yeah. cried when the earth was born. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. I like that theory. <laughs> I can see it, I can see it. That's uh, sweet. Um, wrong, dude. Right. <laughs> you're, you're stupid, bro. Um, no, next time I can say is firmament of the firmament. earth. Firmament? Definition. I only barely know what that the means. The firmament yeah. is like the idea that, that there's like a ceiling. Oh, and, like and, and, and and yeah, and it's just like the stars are just like holes poked in the firmament. Okay, oh. the dome theory. Is, I feel like there's got to be some sort of inner outer layer. I was thinking inner too at first. Mm -hmm. I was like, is it because there is a conspiracy theory that there's like a whole civilization inside? Yeah, I've Earth. heard of that one. Is it that one? Oh, is it the dome theory? Ferment. Yeah. Ferment. Any final Ferment. guesses? <laughs> Fermentation. I you got to say no. Is. You can't just let us hang here. Yeah. No, I'm saying the looks Jacob right now. Are you Googling your answer? Do you not have You're sending it to Jacob. Oh, he's sending it to Jacob. Oh. Sending it to Jacob. Oh. Pull it up. Pull it up. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. oh. Did we all get it wrong? Oh. I, oh, yeah, I think we're going to get the reveal. I am freaking out right now. <laughs> There's a lot of unexplained things going on in the ocean right now. Hold yeah. on real quick. I do not no. trust them. Just watch the video. to Mars by going through the ocean. You get to you Mars by get to going the through the, the ocean. ocean. Because outer space is the ocean. Now, what oh. he just said. Jacob, go ahead, pause it. Uh, spoiler nothing else in this video. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> oh, just, no, just a mumbo that. jumbo. It literally just goes like, it's in the ocean. You gotta go down, get Mars. Okay, so uh, yeah, so this is. Yeah, 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 yeah. she closed are, the blinds though, so that the FBI can yeah. see. Yeah. They were, they were not putting closed. it on the internet. <laughs> right. this, yeah, <laughs> they're closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you oh, get wait, to Mars my favorite through the ocean? ocean. Can we back up to the beginning where she gets really like stretched in? Yeah, watch. You, that was awesome. Y'all, I am freaking out right now. There's a lot of unexplained. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> yeah. So just every, listen like, to her. <laughs> so Jack is, from the Titanic is in Mars right now. His basically, body is like basically Whoa. <laughs> on Mars. Is Mars, Mars the only place that you can reach from the ocean, <laughs> right. or there's, there's, there's no other place? All of outer space. <laughs> all the other oh, everything. I, I think but so. The, yeah, but the first you... place, the first stop is Mars. Is that a? F I don't know. Well, yeah, it seems like, like the first. Right. Seems yeah, like the first so it's like the ocean is like a portal, like right. a wave well, portal. Well, if it's a flat Earth, Earth to... below the ocean would be space. Oh, okay, right. You guys don't know anything flat about space. science. Flat feels space. Like. <laughs> Flat space. <laughs> flat space theory. Okay, space is also flat. Flat, flat yeah. space theory is great. <laughs> it's just a drawing. It's like when uh, uh, yeah. Wiley Coyote draws like a tunnel yeah. on a big piece of rock. It just goes out in every <laughs> direction forever. And first of all, guys, space is up. Space seems to it be It depends up. on your perspective. Space is like everywhere, it's isn't too, it? uh, Space is also down. Yeah. Right. No, it's and not. Like if you go through the ocean enough, you do get to space. You do get to Mars. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, look at the space. Hank, you sound insane. No, um, but yeah, if you, you, you kind of got your ass a little bit. First of all, it's the rug. Water, <laughs> First of all, so that's a rug. you look at the water, you can see your reflection. Are you up or are you down? Ooh. 
Mm. <laughs> yeah, listen to oh, her. His nose is bleeding. <laughs> get him off camera. So get him off camera. Yeah, are you up or are you down? I don't know. <laughs> Who am I? Am I, am I, do, am I an illusion? Yeah, am I, I just know. a story that I tell to myself? Right. Maybe it's just a reflection. Can yeah. I do like the Maybe last? Maybe he's the real guy. Mm. The last Maybe seconds. I'm dreaming now, and when I'm dreaming, that's real life. No, I'm for cool. sure I love that. dreaming right no, now. Yeah, I love that one. I do like that. Yeah, that's my. Favorite. I like what dreaming if? being real. Yeah, a dream is the wish your heart makes. <laughs> I heard that one before. Mine? When Did you, you make asleep? that up? Oh. oh. Yeah, I'm a bit of a poet. It was really yeah. good. Wow. <laughs> really good. Would you like to join the band? <laughs> I think I Would you like to one. join the band? <laughs> it's full. I'm doing guitar. Oh, wait, I do want to. Okay, I think guitar. we maybe can do one wow. more conspiracy. I did not expect Before this. we wrap up. What, one that okay. isn't true, unlike that one. Unlike that one, which is absolutely true. And okay. you heard it here first, and Hank corroborated it. Yeah, yeah. Hank Pitt's face. Face, is Flat's face theory. Underneath. Oh wait, <laughs> hashtag conspiracy theory, hashtag conspiracies, hashtag <laughs> scary, hashtag firmament. <laughs> yeah. Now I reach the audience. He's ha just using the hashtags. Oh, you are, aren't you? Hashtag host. Yeah, you That's get to these by searching these hashtags, right? Well, yeah, I search firmament. It's my, yeah. my homepage on my PC. <laughs> it's just, yeah. it's the firmament hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm are you checking. Guys firmament talk? <laughs> yeah, I checked it, and they all said yes. Bunch of TikToks, and then Hank says no. One guy. Okay. Furman okay. is uh, such a great word. Can I do like the last oh, an epilogue to every episode of uh, SciShow and it's me right at the end? I'm like, okay. I don't know about that. Bullshit. <laughs> that, that seems, that seems so. wrong. Let me check and I'm just on my you phone. Need to, <laughs> you need to stitch it on TikTok and just go. <laughs> Vaccines for peanut butter? <laughs> my face is all stretched out. <laughs> <laughs> blocking the blinds. <laughs> don't you go, don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, this, actually this one, this is this one's truly deranged. Um, the first clue I will give is China saw us. China saw us? China. Saw us, he's British. China, oh. he's British. <laughs> China, China saw, saw us. us. China, <laughs> like China saw us, right? Chinese dinosaurs. I'm so sorry. <laughs> British were the he's first people. Godzilla, <laughs> with China. China. Like China Jurassic Park but with British Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Oh, fucking John Dodds will be more watching. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I think um, it's in wait, all the Wait, is this the weather balloon? China saw. China, China. Just to be clear. Uh, oh, okay, could be. The, I think the was weather balloon. Is it the weather balloon, balloon one? Yeah, the spy balloon. Yeah, but like specifically, but I don't China know. That's real. China can always though. see us. <laughs> that yeah, they got satellites. Yeah, you just have to look down. <laughs> yeah, they're, <laughs> that's what we got to close their eyes. They're under this rug. <laughs> yeah, maybe China has a, a network of spy devices everywhere because then they'll say some like like uh, uh stuff about you know how there's uh, more surveillance and like i don't know um, or is this like about a person named china Mm. Um, it's about black China? Black China? Not it's about fine China. Black China? Not to provide too many black guesses. China black, China <laughs> okay. black China is a dinosaur? Okay, so black China black rides a China. <laughs> black China rides a Chinosaurus <laughs> into a China shop, <laughs> <laughs> destroys in the whole place in Chinatown. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my God. Despite that's being why so Donald chai. Trump lost the election. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> someone cracked it. God, yeah. I want a chai right now. I'm going to Minecraft myself with a chai. I'm chai tea. Second clue. Not mean. <laughs> oh, there's another clue. Second clue. No oh. Camarasaurus. What? No. Camarasaurus. You got a spell. No now, Camarasaurus. Did you say camera? No Camarasaurus. Oh, yeah. Oh. Is that true? Yeah. Is that oh, you're true? joking. No Camarasaurus. No, you're joking. No, it's not China Saurus. Yeah. <laughs> no balloon. Americans in the band. No Camarasaurus. I don't have an accent like a that. A dream is to wish your heart makes. <laughs> oh, oh, a dream is to wish members. your heart makes. <laughs> I can't do it. We're yes. doing great. We fall asleep. <laughs> you two are kicked out. Just the boys. <laughs> we no, call it a boss. You boy and a boss. Flat <laughs> space theory. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thrash metal there, man. No, um, C A M A R A S A U R U S. So it is. Oh, we did get a Saurus. This sounds well, like a skibbity sauce. toilet theory. <laughs> Maybe a skibbity toilet. What's the skibbity toilet theory? Oh, well, do you know? Do you know what? But if you go is? down in the toilet, if you reach Mars. China. Yeah, yeah. 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 I have so many questions. <laughs> Me too. I feel like we're saying words that are just. Like, you got to see me again, and I got to pretend like I can understand you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest. But quite, I, I, most of the time was taken up trying to think of uh, dinosaur names that also sound somewhat related to China. So, uh, oh, so, so you just made that up. So I looked up Jeff Goldlocktopus. Okay. Jeff. Jeff Goldlocktopus. <laughs> Jeff Goldlocktopus. Jeff Goldlock. Jeff Gold. I'm gonna put Locktopus. 
Give me the phone. Need I say? Give me the phone. <laughs> Thanks. Remember, Pumpkin remember protection. when we were like, we have a very special guest, and we were like, someone's gonna scrub forward in the video. <laughs> They're gonna go to this moment. And you're gonna go, what is happening? Just gold luck. I'm here by myself. <laughs> yeah. Do I love anyone? Just gold. Anybody? Jeff Gold. Wait, so. Ticus. So was that the second clue, or oh, you were that tricking us? That was the third yeah. to final clue. Can you not get it? Okay, give me the no. three in a row because I'm very confused. Okay, yeah. Chinosaurus. <laughs> Chinosaurus. No camerasaurus. No camerasaurus. I'll throw another. There's no evidence of it. You know, no camerasaurus. Oh, uh, uh, no dinosaurs. Okay, so no. So Jeff. <laughs> fossils are uh, fake. Goldblum, but I made it sound like a dinosaur. <laughs> Je- Jeff, Jeff Goldblum. Goldblum. Jurassic Park. Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Made, made it look like a dinosaur. Okay, so there are dinosaurs. Great guys. I'm so the movie. confused. So then, is this about dinosaurs or what? Well, I mean, the final piece of evidence is actually maybe it was proven because a woman that was from vacation reportedly saw it on the news itself. Go ahead, pull up the clip. Oh. oh. She was on vacation <laughs> and saw the news. Because that is a one to one. She was on vacation that were proven real. Ooh. Oh, theories that's that were gorgeous. proven. I don't believe you. China right? dinosaur theory. Hold on, pull it back a little bit. <laughs> China dinosaur. China dinosaur. <laughs> China, dinosaur. <laughs> China dinosaur theory. That was cute. That was According yes. to this theory, China found an island that is full with dinosaurs. Ooh. A woman that was for vacation in China for vacation. saw it on the news itself. They said that it was <laughs> just saw it on the news itself. to an uncharted island, and they were found multiple new dinosaurs. <gasps> That's very exciting. Is that the oh. plot of a movie? Isn't that... Isn't is that, that yes, Dinotopia? It was a, it was a comic. It was like a d- graphic novel series that I read when I was a kid. Really? Like, yeah, it was like you like wake like you get in a car cra- like you get a car you get in a plane crash uh-huh. and then you're like marooned on a surprise island and it's Dinotopia <laughs> where humans Dinotopia. and dinosaurs live together in peace. Oh, that's Can you be marooned cute. on a not surprise island? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I wrote it down. Oh, this is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, you all sound skeptical, but may I remind you, a woman that was from vacation reportedly saw it on the news itself. From I, vacation, on, I think. From vacation, kind of yeah. on the news, but on vacation. I think <laughs> yeah. that this was completely generated with AI. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 every yeah. aspect of this. Was the text, the visuals are already. Where you can just be like, "Can you make me like twenty-five conspiracy?" Conspiracy theory TikToks and it's like yeah yeah hmm. and it's like oh. I'll put and them on your channel masses. right now yeah, yeah. I mean hey if, okay. if there's that's kind of a good idea yeah. yeah we might we might take that get into make something. a pivot mm. music yeah. not a pivot <laughs> don't yeah. we'll just add do an both. addition yeah don't do the fraud part though <laughs> no 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 but can you ask ChatGPT <laughs> to make a good fraud scheme or? you can do like fraud but quiet. Okay, a quiet yeah just don't make TikToks about it you can do a full fraud video make it sixteen. 20 minutes long, something like that, and then right at the end go, just kidding. I don't know. Yeah. I like I was that. Playing, dude. I'm not down with fraud. All right, good. <laughs> Period. We don't have to do that. <laughs> oh, no? You stand for something <laughs> on this podcast. Down with yeah. fraud. Yeah. Allegedly not down with fraud. Not down with fraud. Why are you so winking? <laughs> <laughs> What's I the most known. fraud you've ever did? <laughs> <laughs> What is the most fraud I ever did? <laughs> yeah, take off those glasses. Mm. Most- I'm just thinking for a second. If I, can, mm. I can check my notes up and see what's the most fraud I ever did. Uh, there was actually a woman in China that went on vacation <laughs> from where the. I, most you fraud made that did. AI video, huh? Yeah. Bullshit. I, 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 I cheated on some tests. Oh, oh that's kind of fraud. Not the smart oh, I, guy. I've plagiarized every single essay I've ever written in my entire life. What? what? Whoa, that's for a sure. lot of them. You I never read any of the books at, at school because they were too heavy to hold, you know, too big, too scary. I feel oh. like you're not telling 100% the truth. Yeah, I, didn't read it. I still didn't read any of the books, but I did. Uh, I pretty, I, I, you know, there's a thin line between referencing a source and, and just saying sort of what like it, the words. Paraphrasing yeah. Yeah. what they I said. I remember there was this guy that said, <laughs> yeah. this guy said some shit about this. And yeah. Actually, I think it's the same oh. One of the many books I've read about this topic. Okay, that's yeah. not too bad a fraud. Yeah. yeah. What about that's you? That's a little fraud. Um, okay. Oh no! What's your fraud? <laughs> Be careful! What's the worst the show thing you've ever done? So okay, this is one where I did. Um, I only did it once because I, I was curious. So uh, uh, a in, little fraud curious. A little fraud curious in college. Single jeopardy. In college, we had these uh, vending machines mm. that you could tap your student oh, ID. I have done fraud. You reminded me of the fraud <laughs> I did. <laughs> I, Should we go through every crime and you can? Yeah, no, this, is, I, this, is, this is a really weird. But one. I was like a, you know, I was like a computer science major. I was thinking about technology all the time. Um, I wanted to get like a Snickers bar or something, and you tap your card, and then it says like four dollar balance, and mm-hmm. then you type in the number B five, and then you get you vended your thing. You know how vending machines work. Sure. <laughs> and so uh, I was like, interesting that it loads up 
the the balance before the transaction, but then it doesn't deduct those things from my car, like my card balance until after the transaction's completed. And so I looked behind the vending machine oh. and I disconnected the ethernet cable. <laughs> Wow. To test to see if it did validation. So security yeah. tested. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. so then I, I typed in B5 very... and then I got my Snickers bar and it didn't charge me. So I figured oh. out how to steal from the vending machine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that kind of, that kind of uh, but I never that. did it again. That's, that's I never did nice it again because I was just curious. Uh, you, you, you were you, using your studies, you know, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was an applied <laughs> research excursion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're um, yelling. That's what joke. I said to the dean of students as they're <laughs> expelling me from school. Professor, you don't get it. Yeah. That's not that bad. Oh, yeah. but one thing that well, did fraud. happen mm -hmm. that's uh, not fraud, but you know, I don't, okay, not a lot of people know this, but uh, emails can be spoofed. Mm -hmm. uh, so like, uh, you don't really know if an email is sent from the sender that it's sent from, unless you like look at the actual like stuff, the source of the email, which um, most people won't do. So I could have a any email address and then like send an email saying it was from Hank and it would appear as if it was from Hank. Things like Gmail now do a better job yeah, of detecting good. things like yeah, this. But out. back in the day, this was like a real thing. So when I was in college, a group of students sent a uh, sent a fake job posting. Do you remember Portal? The game? The game. Yeah. Oh, right. So yeah. Everyone, okay, sorry. Forget forget. I said remember Portal. <laughs> anyway, we, we remember it too. We, you yeah. remember it too. Yeah, it was a big, it was a big thing back in the day. Uh, a group of it. students sent yeah. an email pretending to be the dean of students with a fake job posting from Aperture Laboratories. Yeah. Oh. And then they all got like in trouble, like a lot, oh. because people thought they hacked. Oh, they hacked yeah. into the email, which would be a big cybercrime. Yeah. But it's not <laughs> what happened. They just, they just spoofed, spoofed it. it. <laughs> But yeah. all of these like computer science professors and stuff got so heated over it. And they were like, we didn't hack anyone. <laughs> yeah. But it was, and they had to like, uh, some of them got like kicked out of uh, class for a certain amount of time, had to like write yeah. essays, had to like go into like yeah. a student court thing. It was wild. It's a, it's a oh, prank, wow. bro. It, that's what I'm saying. It's just a prank, bro. <laughs> just a prank. When I was in college, uh, it was pretty early in the internet, and there was a listserv that had everybody, like there was an email that you could email that would email everyone in school, oh. okay. which is a very bad idea. Mm -hmm. uh, and <laughs> yeah. at one point, somebody wrote like to that thing, and they were like, people need to wash their hands after going to the bathroom. And then a professor wrote back to everyone at the school and was like, no, you don't. Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, no. And he was and in I, the uh, holding hands and, class. And, 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 and then like the public health professor was like, yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was, I remember early in the pandemic, I, multiple people said to me, I was like, Phew. I mean, they're saying every time. Like now you have to wash your hands like every fucking day. Yeah. <laughs> when I go to the water, you... it just says employees. Yeah. Must yeah. I don't yeah. work here. Uh, <laughs> my hands are dirty. Yeah. There's, there's rules. I'm following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all jazz, baby. Yeah. Drinking I feel like water. I, I feel like I need to say what my fraud was because yes. I said that I did one. Yep. When I was in college, there was this thing where you could sign up to have them put ads on your computer, and then for all the time you spent on your computer, you'd get paid a little bit of money. And there'd just be like a pop-up ad always on your computer. Oh. And I installed some software that just like faked that your mouse was moving around mm -hmm. and like oh. left my computer running all the time. Nice. Yeah. And then they also had an affiliate program where you get paid if other people you got to sign up did that. Mm -hmm like used the ser service so I got everybody at college to also sign up for it and then told them all about the thing that moved their mouse around. <laughs> wow. Are you, I took 5% of the <laughs> and, and then that company went out of business. Oh, oh that's like because of you. Stuff. I think because of me and people like me. Yeah, I, think, yeah, yeah. I think I wasn't the only one who had the thought. So uh, like how much money did you make at the most? I don't know, like 500 bucks. Oh, Wait, that's when did, good. When did you do this? Uh, 1999 yeah, or 2000. This? Pull up the statute of limitations on it. <laughs> I think I'm good. I, I think the You're people at all good. advantage uh, yeah. went on to other better things. Uh, one help. time in college, they uh, the bursar's office accidentally deposited $10,000 into my account. 
And Ooh. then I got an email threatening to expel me from school if I didn't give it back. And I was like, I didn't do this. Right. Yeah. 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 What happened to Finders Keepers? <laughs> yeah, where, where, where's the first email that's like, please, pretty please? Yeah. <laughs> also, hey, we made a mistake. Yeah. I didn't steal it from you. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah, it they should kind of small bean, right? Like, hey, um, yeah. You it was the scariest it. email Oops. ever where I was yeah. like, ah. At first I was like, cha-ching. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way this is going to turn around. <laughs> yeah. I spent it already. <laughs> yeah, I bought 9,999 things. <laughs> Might be. Shoot. I bought a lot oh, of Snickers shoot. bars. I did want to get my, uh, my, my debit card payment information stolen because I got an email saying that there was a, this, when I was in college and I was just terrified of like not any money going missing, <laughs> like any, literally any amount. I got an email from uh, Lloyd's Bank, I thought at the time, which is mm-hmm. my bank. Mm-hmm. And after I sent my credit card information, oh. my, the UK equivalent of an SSN, I noticed that the website it had linked me to was labradorsavailable.net. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Which is just why that was. Yeah. <laughs> they should have like Lloyd's Bank time. No, they, because they stole labradorsavailable.net earlier no, that day. From someone yeah. that really wanted a Labrador. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. with a bunch of Labradors going, no. <laughs> No, it's no, I have bank. so many Labradors available. This is the problem ever. <laughs> <laughs> and no website. No website. No one will know about all the Labradors I have. I hate this They're story. so available. They're so available. <laughs> all right. Well, this was all right. super duper fun. We've never frauded. Yeah, we don't have any fraud stories. Well, sorry, we didn't guys. even expect it. In your 42 years of living. Yeah. Oh. yeah. But in college, I got frauded. I thought... Um, <laughs> I got frauded on, you know? Uh-huh. You got frauded on? I thought <laughs> that a homeless man was a hipster oh, yeah, and I invited yeah. him over to my house, <laughs> to my apartment. Yeah. It was like my first week um, moved out here to LA. I'm from Texas. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Mm-hmm. You know, just a sweet homegrown girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're, and you're, and you're like, hipsters should come over. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> sometimes it's like right. Texas. Are yeah. they homeless or are they a hipster? Yeah. Like, right. You don't know out so here. So I fell for that. I fell for it. He was just like, little lady, I have a predilection. I want to <laughs> find myself a place to live and sleep. Yeah. Like, no, he didn't I'm, say that. He just wanted he, to hang out. Yeah, did he, just, did he yeah, fraud he like, cool. you or did he just like... That, that like he was didn't like take fraud. any money. The fraud was just yeah, like, that was like the identity. Yeah. He didn't, yeah. Yeah, he didn't take any money. He was just at the end of the night. He was like, yeah, I'm kind of homeless. And I'm like... Uh. Sometimes hipsters are homeless. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And it, like, <laughs> Ma'am, I've just co-opted the aesthetics of homelessness <laughs> but for clout and attention. Yeah. that's It started that way. At first, I thought I was just trying to like look cool. <laughs> and then I, I, suddenly I was actually homeless. It turns out the life of an outlaw is out on the range and not in like an apartment. You can't sign a lease. <laughs> Hey, it's okay to be homeless, by the way. It yeah. is. Yeah. But not a cowpoke. But not do fraud. Don't yes. Yeah. Don't do yeah. fraud. Mm. Re- regardless of your housing <laughs> status. you might, might gotta as well. Do something. You gotta true. do something. Yeah. And so, hey. If you're not, I don't get to do fraud. Who cares? Fraud get, within get away reason. With it, okay. Honestly, just yeah. a little fraud here. A little here. fraud is totally fine. A little fraud, fine, little fraud yeah. here. Is Tell it, Chase you didn't actually make that payment. If your drug dealer steals your money. If you like pay your drug dealer and they don't give you drugs, it's is rude. that fraud? I feel like that's fraud. Yeah, they are but frauding like, you, but you can't do it. You can't do it because it's yeah. illegal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can be up. You can be like mean to them. I've been frauded. <laughs> <laughs> What were you buying? <laughs> Drugs. There's a lot of fraud going on in high school. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of fraud. I'm currently, being, I'm currently being frauded because I tried to buy a custom Guitar Hero controller on Etsy. And it's been six months. Oh, and no. I heard nothing. I also oh, got no. frauded about some Magic the Gathering cards. No. And oh. drugs. It, uh, it's the same period of my life. <laughs> I also got frauded <laughs> some for some Pokemon kind of cards recently. Yeah. Not like during the pandemic. Yeah. It was on Craigslist though. So you kind of expect it. Yeah. Mm. One time someone sold me a stolen iPhone. Oh. And you know how they're it like pretty locked down? Yeah. yeah. And it, but it was like in the, like nowadays it's kind of really hard to sell a stolen yeah. iPhone because it's really hard to get them like un, like Unbroken. broken and stuff. Yeah. But uh, I was able to get it activated, but then I gave it to a friend and then we found out that it was like blacklisted, like the Ooh, yeah. IMEI number or whatever on the phone was like blacklisted. As a stolen phone. Because it was stolen. Yeah. Damn. Uh, and I was like, damn, that's why it was a good deal. So now I don't buy yeah. uh, phones on Craigslist. That's, that's my a good call. Yeah. I bought a dog yeah. on Craigslist during yeah, the pandemic. Got Labrador. Labrador. Was she got frauded. It was a fake uh, dog. It was <laughs> not a Labrador. They were like, I have so many Labradors <laughs> available and I've recently <laughs> lost my website. <laughs> I will meet you at Wells Fargo tonight. (laughs) Um, I met this lady at Wingstop. She said,
said that it was a multi poo. Well, first she met him on Craig, met her on Craigslist. Yeah. Oh, and then you went. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's then she was like, "Meet me at Wingstop. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I'll give you this this multi poo. And I was like, "Okay, please." And then showed me pictures of the multi poo, all this stuff. And then it turned out to be a little wiener dog. It was a totally different dog. Completely different dog. Well, but well you got catfished what, by a dog. Yeah, yeah. 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 The dog, dog was a baby fished. when she got it. Yeah, like the dog. And was it like, looked like it could have been a multi poo. He was yeah. very curly. A little curly. Then oh. as he grew, he just grew long. longer and longer and longer. What was the plan <laughs> that happening? Yeah, like, but I actually loved it. Like it was he, like he's, a mystery. He's box. a great dog's name, Daddy. Box. You yeah. did still take it. Like yeah. yeah. Oh, oh hell yeah, yeah, that's my baby. Nice. My lying little baby. My little baby. Like, does catfishing work sometimes? Maybe that's why they do it. Yeah. I really did. Yeah. Couldn't I, ask for anything better. Against my better judgment, I do love the show Catfish, and just multiple times I've watched a full episode and gone like, I really hope it's a dog. <laughs> it's so funny if they don't. It's just been like tapping on the keyboard, yeah. walking Hilarious. over it. It's just an actual catfish. It's a big twist. <laughs> GG. All right. Well, this was a wonderful it time. It was so good. <laughs> this was a wonderful time. Thank you, Fly Anna Boss, for yeah, joining us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you guys have names. Do you, oh, do you I'm use them Bobby. Ever? I'm Full Lion. And, and we're, we're Fly Anna Boss. Boss. Nice. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We that was so cool. We've done over a hundred episodes of the show and never gotten that right. Really? No. <laughs> have you we try a- to say things at the same time all the time and we can't do it. Okay, oh ready? Gosh. One, two, three. Hi, I'm Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> Everybody wants to be me. <laughs> and we Wait. are... <laughs> you have to think. It's sad, boys, right? Yeah. Say hi. Uh, let me check. Check it. Pull the podcast? What's the podcast? Pull up the podcast. Pull up the podcast. Yeah, it says sad, boys. Okay, oh, okay, okay. okay. I'm Jarvis. And we... No. Uh, Jarvis. I'm, nope, just me. Nope. I'm Jarvis. And I'm me. I'm, no, I'm not me. And we're. We're flying a bus. <laughs> boys. Flying you a can boys. also be flying a bus if you want. That was um, exclusively. <laughs> uh, and uh, ooh, I just want to say is there anything that you want to plug? Obviously, like stream your music. Yeah. Just yeah. check it out. It's so good. It's so Thank good. It's so fun. It's the perfect vibes. It's the per- okay. you are gonna want to dance. You're gonna feel twenty twenty four vibe of the year. Ooh. Yeah, find a boss. Wow, twenty twenty five. You heard Gone. it here first. We're gonna clip twenty twenty five. You'll be too over. Old. No, twenty twenty five. We're falling off the flat earth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. trying to go to China. Horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Through the flat earth into space. Going to Mars. From Hanging out with Leo and Boss DiCaprio on Mars. Finds up. Finds Mars. Flat space theory confirmed. Great. Yeah. <laughs> great. Might be an album concept. Oh yeah. You will get no credit. No, oh, but we wait, don't. Is there anything else? I, that's, <laughs> and I don't expect it. Um, I because I want to get a little fried. <laughs> a little fried. Just a, just a little. Wait, Maybe when fat. does this episode come out? Uh, Friday. Oh wait, no, sorry. Ne- sorry, we normally record on Wednesdays, so it doesn't come out today. Wait, yeah, in about, about a, week. a week. What day is it? Saturday. Yeah. So it will come out next Friday. Is it the twenty six? We have a single dropping called Candyman on Friday the 26th. Hopefully it's this day that's it's airing. This was a Check viral marketing nice. campaign. Nice. Yeah. Marketing. yeah, it's called Candyman yeah. for all the lovers out there. Ooh. <laughs> and for all the lovers out there, Hank Green. Oh, yes, I am aggressively non-sexual on <laughs> Aggressively. <laughs> it's a callback to before, but also <laughs> a fact. <laughs> was a chill, fervent and specific. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure you get hit on in the comments. They're like, that's a man who seems quite tall. In the comments oh, no. of my TikToks, and I'm like, children, back off. <laughs> yeah. I am your teacher. That's a tall man. Yeah. I may am tall, though. Uh, I don't know. Go to study hall. Go studyhall.com. See how you might be able to get a, a little start on your education for a little less money than usual. Ooh, with a partnership like with us, Crash yeah. Course Arizona State University, and YouTube. And that's like a like your curriculum, right? Yeah, you sort of start out on YouTube. Just get a feel for it. You can start in a little cohort for cheap. And then if you do well, and you like how you do, you can get college credit that's transferable to hundreds this. of schools. Yeah, wow. That's awesome. Wow. And you if don't I have got to play credit right. for all I'll the pl- crash course I've watched over the years, yeah. I would probably have a degree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you do it retroactively? Yeah. <laughs> so that's how it works. <laughs> you get your professor. I, please. I, I, watch watch that, I, was, I watched so much YouTube, guys. <laughs> yeah, I really did. All right. We end every episode of Sad Boys with a particular phrase. We love, we love you. you. And, and we're, we're sorry. Gucci girl, Gucci girl, how you doing? How you moving, girl? Moving, girl, how's your day looking? That future girl, future girl, yeah, we on now. Take my money, go away, are you want it? Gucci rich for me.